And we are live. Hello. Hello there, everyone. Have to wait for people to come in the room. See how long it takes to fill up. Well, at least get someone in here right. that could yeah. be watching. It could be. Just to say hello when you're in the room. Yes. Well, oh, well I mean, it'll take a little while to mm. get in the room. Well, so far it's taken uh, what 30 seconds and wow look at all these people that well are refreshing their videos they, they've got to refresh and you know they might be uh, driving home from work now and powder their faces powdering their noses that's right so yes uh, just instead of making a video today I thought I'd just well just do a live one instead Instead of having to sit through and and do editing. G'day Jordan, the real Steve W. Steve's Spanner. in the house. Uh, he's a uh, he can like, <coughs> remove nasty people, old Steve. Oh. Hey Daniel. Oh Gibbo. <laughs> the the official Gibbo's here. Oh Gibbo, you know what? Last night. Uh, I was around Brian's place, and uh, it was uh, it was another friend of ours called Tim. It, it was his birthday, and uh, well, I don't know what happened last night, but I woke up on top of my bed, fully clothed, shoes on, you know, as opposed to shoes off. <laughs> and um, but I was uh, drinking some of these, you know, those ones that you bought me, and mate. These cloud catchers are really nice. They're yeah, really, they were, they're yeah, really delicious. I'd say you caught so much cloud last night. You had such a foggy head this morning. I did. I did have a bit of a foggy head this morning, but um, yeah, really nice this one. You know, sometimes you do these reviews and, and uh, well, you taste it for the first time, but then after the second time, it's, you know, or third, it tastes way better. But, um, Today I thought I'd uh, support a, a beer company that's, you know, just going through a bit of dramas at the moment. Now, oh. yeah, so this, I don't know if you heard the story, but there's some place in Victoria, uh, they, uh, it's called um, Black Heart Wines or something, or Black Heart Cellars. Sounds evil to me. No, well, the thing was that, see this, see this, um, Colonial Brewing Co, right? Like nothing mm. untoward okay. at all. Okay, right, 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 yeah. Anyway, this um, this place banned uh, this Colonial Brewing Co beer because it's called Colonial Brewing Co. Oh. So, <laughs> yeah, more, so, more safety statement. So they, uh, yeah, so this uh, woke, you know, they're so woke and, and well, stupid. Uh, so they, they think that this is offensive. So they're like, we're not, we're not stocking these beers in their, their place anymore. So of course, you go on social media and, oh mate, they are giving them grief. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone mad. It's, the world's gone mad. So <laughs> I thought, well, let's, let's support this company because they're copping shit for no reason. You know? They, well, there might be a reason soon if it doesn't agree with us. But... <laughs> well... <laughs> So I thought we'd, we'd help out a good Aussie brewery. And, uh, well, I got a couple of them. Uh, help them out. Stick it to those whining, woke, darrow, Folk. filthy, you know. Pinko commies. Pinko commies. Bastards. And, uh, well, plus, you know, this one, Southwest Sour. I, I've never tried this before. Have you ever had a sour beer? No. Yeah, no. Thanks. Awesome. And the thing about these cans as well, they're the full ah. lid cans, but they're getting rid of these, unfortunately. Yeah, see, that's a, another no-no for the wildlife in the ocean. Well, the turtle could make an earring out of it, though, right? you think so. But uh, let's start off with this colonial sour. Oh! oh God. Jeez! I nearly took an took, eye. Oh, that was going to happen. <laughs> oh! Yeah, I, I'm a fan of that sort of lid. Yeah. Well, that's what I was saying, the 
the lid. It's got the full lid thing happening. Yeah. Didn't realize it was so all encompassing. Yeah. Pretty good, huh? Helps with the quaffing, that's for sure. The quaffing? The quaffing. Hmm. Anyway, yeah. grab yourself a glass. No. Don't mind if I do. And uh, we'll try a sour. Now, I was reading on. It's a bit hard to pour into a glass, actually. Um, I was reading up about the sours, and apparently uh, they add like um, bifidus things in there. Uh, gut stuff? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's like, or acids. That's supposed to be good for your gut. Look at that glow. Wow, it's like the sun is like coming over the horizon. Mmm. Pretty good, huh? Cheers. Cheers. Oh. Okay, well, that is very uh, citrusy, isn't it? Fruity. The new cans don't have that lid, eh? <clears throat> G'day, Tidy. G'day, everyone. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Sylv says hi. Sylv, hey, how are you doing, Sylv? Ryan. Oh, you bet I drink whiskey. Oh, Paul, thank you. <laughs> Does Brian drink whiskey? What, what's your favourite? Um, any whiskey, really. I'm not that uh, discerning. However, um, I did do a Scotch appreciation class uh, about 20 years ago for Johnny with Johnny Walker, and we tried about uh, the five different varieties, like the, the red, the base, you know, black, green, blue, and pink. Pink Scotch. <laughs> Hmm. Oh. Interesting. It was this, 20 years ago. So. But this smells really... It smells like a tropical punch. Don't, don't you think? Um, yeah. Um, you can't really smell anything right no, now? No, I, I can smell it all right now, and it's, it's, it's worrying me. I'm not into the fruit so much. Yeah, it's very fruity smelling. Right. Very fruity. Ah, oh. oh, Sylph. Yeah, good to have you here. Uh, so, okay, a sour, my first sour beer. All right, here okay. we go. Woo! Yeah. Wow, that's, yeah. That's sour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know those sour bombs, those lollies? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's reminiscent. That's... Yeah, it just tastes like a lemon. It tastes like a lemon drink with the... Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Beer, um, beer with some lemon added? Kind of tastes slightly like a, a weak Barocca in a way as well. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, the sour, I mean, it's very trendy. It's supposed to be good for you, <laughs> as good as a sour beer can be. Wow. But, <laughs> but it tastes all right. I mean, it's, it's sour. I'd quaff this a bit slower. It, it, it's yeah. a sipper. Yeah, yeah. Although, on a stinking hot day, could you imagine maybe, I don't know, yeah. sitting by the pool, sucking back on one of these with a piece of pineapple shoved in the corner? Frolicking mm. on the beach and getting back to the towel where the missus has got a nice chill glass. Well, <laughs> have a sour beer for if you. She's, if she's any good, she will. Possibly some sour words to mm -hmm. go with it. Well, it uh, depends on how you treat her that day, doesn't it? I mean, I just brushed my teeth before, but um, this is, um, yeah, I mean, it's not bad, but uh, would I be getting some again? It's got a bit of a, a funny aftertaste. It almost goes sweet. Yeah, um, I'm, now I'm just sort of sitting back and letting my tongue sort of excrete the... Um, the juice of it all, and um, it's it's causing me to salivate slightly. Oh yeah, 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 mm. yeah. It is. It's causing some salivation. Yeah. So you should have some of this before you eat some chips. Oh yeah. You lube up that mouth. Or something <laughs> you need. If you if you're eating something dry, this would be good. Maybe some nibbles. <coughs> or uh, <coughs> oh, excuse me, some Jats crackers. You could eat Jack's crackers with this, couldn't you? Some salted peanuts. The cheapest you can find in the shop. That would set you up right for it. Oh, Robbo, wow. 
Robbo the disabled vlogger. Jeez, generous. He's already given me beers, um, some beer money, which I haven't actually spent yet because, well, I was going to you know, go for the two for one offer, but oh, I didn't have my car and I didn't want to have to push a trolley six kilometres home with a couple of beers on there looking like a Darrow walking down the street, which is what I normally do. Actually, I did see you. <laughs> I saw you walking past with a box of something. Yeah, yeah. Because, oh, well, um, remember with, with all that rainfall, just that whoosh, splash out of the heavens midday. Yeah. Um, a mate of mine is driving past with a mattress on the top of his car. Oh, no. And he really needed a place to put his car and my, undercover. So uh, I was just coming home myself from good old Dan's, as you are. And uh, I didn't park in my car park carport because uh, he needed to put yeah. it underneath. So I parked over there and thus I won't. Oh, okay. That was my exercise for the day. Well, good boy. It's mm -hmm. better than me. I think, oh no, I went to, um, I went to dance, but I, I need to go and get that carton of uh, Forex that Robbo got me last time. But here he says, he's told he's no longer a drinker. No wonder you got so much money to splash around there. He's <laughs> saving it all. Uh, here's a donation for, to review as Carlton Zero, non-alcoholic beer for me. Wow, right, yeah. that's is right. certainly a mission. Well, a, a Carlton Zero. Whew. And are you up to that challenge? Tell you what. Yeah, well, I've seen those Carlton Zeros in the, um, in the, in dance and everything. And I'm thinking, oh, I wonder what that tastes like. I mean, there's quite a few around. Mm -hmm. It's um, all the buzz, all the buzz these days. All, all the buzz not to get the buzz. <laughs> not getting the buzz. I must admit, I haven't really noticed that sort of merchandise in the shop there because my eyes must be blind to that sort of uh, discretion. Well, I, well, if I did a, a few reviews and a few, that's what I could do, like get some, uh, get several of the non-alcoholic beers and do a taste, shootout and do a, a shootout have a taste test maybe get three of them or something but uh yeah it's very nice of you robbo really generous thank you very much very nice donation that's right gpp um i never tried a zero beer i used to drink those uh those ones from uh the ones i sell in coles and woolies i think they were coopers Oh, yeah, zeros. Yeah, yeah. I used to drink those. They were hard to get used to. They took they took a long time to get used to. I used to just drink them because, you know, have days off, sort of. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I was and you to... just couldn't... It's like having, you know, um, like if you're a cigarette smoker and you're trying not to smoke, like having a pen in your hand and yeah. twiddling with it. I mean, you might as well just drink ginger beer. That's about the only um, experience I have with is zero alcohol beers. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you might as well just drink. I mean, it tastes so much better, and it costs about the same. And the Bundy ginger ginger beers, oh, I love that stuff. But um, yeah, I mean, this is going down all right. Yeah, no, I mean, uh, it is very it, sour. It has settled in, I must say. Uh, yeah. yeah, it'd be good uh, after a little break just to. However, Oof, there man. is a slight... That is sour. It's like, dare I say it, my, one of my favourite descriptors. What? Urine. No, <laughs> urine. smell of it. Well, it depends what you've been... If you've been drinking pineapple juice, ah. maybe that's what your urine would smell like. Oh, um, you made the bee friend dang last night. All right, with, with the with all the stuff and the and the and the whatevers, <laughs> what do they call it, lemongrass. Yeah, man. Man, that was really nice. That stuff. Ah, uh, oh, you didn't have it. No, oh, okay. I did a video on it. It's, oh, okay. Yeah, it did okay. actually pretty well. Mm -hmm. I was yeah. I was expecting you know maybe you know, three thousand views in a day. Did it make your nose water? No, no, no. It wasn't no. spicy. Ah. No, but it's already up to 12,000, so, yeah. Yeah, I've, that video, I don't know if you noticed, but I was cutting up the coriander and then totally forgot about it at the end because it was probably two hours later. 
and all the kids are running around the house screaming and I was like, oh, okay, everyone just keep quiet for a little while. And then I tasted it and just had a little taste. I totally forgot about that. And actually, we totally forgot about the coriander because it was still in the fridge the next day. Oh. All chopped up and ready to Jesus. go. Jesus. Oh. That's, that is that's a, lot of people, a travesty. A lot of people oh. will probably be grateful for that because a lot of people don't like coriander. Yeah. yeah. For some reason, I don't know. I saw one memmy um, due to, uh, in regards to like the that situation that we've been through in the world, and uh, it was saying, "Please God, please don't make coriander the cure." No, oh, it's not that bad. I know. Yeah, I like it. I hope it was. Um... There's a question there um, from someone about where do I work. Um, oh, really. Yeah, no, I don't work anymore. I'm a man of leisure. Brian was um, Brian was uh, one of these many casualties casualties of uh, the the holiday, <laughs> the Chinese holidays, China China holiday. China. Hey Ben, do a video cooking video together. I tell you what. Brian does a really good, uh, like, uh, fried thing, like oven baked um, fish and chips or something. Yeah. Like the frozen fish. I'm not so proud of that. Mate, it, it always tastes good. Yeah. And like, I'm going, have, put the timer on, put the timer on. He goes, nah, that's all right. And he always sets everything to 200. Nah, that's all right. And I say, yeah, but if you leave it overcooked for like a minute, it's going to go off. No, 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 it's all right. And he nails it every time. Well, I like Absolutely my stuff amazing. well done, and the longer the better. Just don't burn it. And actually, it's Brian was the person yeah. that gave me that uh, that salmon wrap, where you wrapped it, wrap the salmon and put the veggies in. He's the one that showed me that one first, and then I just adapted it for the air fryer. Yeah, well, I can't say I came up with it on my own. No, no. Oh, God, no. Uh, but... Um, that's where I got that one idea from, and I did another one which I absolutely stuffed up. You know, I was I was just watching one of your older, oh, only by by you know a couple of weeks or something, the margarita Aldi thing, the Aldi margarita pizza, the best. Pizza. Oh yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So and you know what I'm famous for doing with those sort of pizzas. Oh yeah, hacking them. Hacking them. Yeah. It's the pizza hack. Yeah, the pizza hack. Yeah. So he's, he's a mad pizza hacker. You, uh, what is it? Eggplant? Um, oh no. <laughs> oh, artichokes. 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 Um, extra mushrooms. More ham. Yeah. Shredded. Well, you sort of chop it up so it's shredded. Um, yeah, and um, a little bit of uh, elbow grease to go. Yeah. Oh, he does a good uh, pizza hack too. He's given me quite a few good ideas. It's good when you're talking to other people. I always ask them about food, and hopefully, uh, you can get some good tips. We've got kind of a, a, just a few subjects we actually talk about: drinking, drinking, women, women, and food. What else is there? There's nothing else. Uh, there's other things like more um, well, music. Oh, bass guitars. Bass guitars. Bass guitars. Oh, how was I last night on the bass? Oh. I, was, I was rocking it, upside down, yeah. playing the bass. Yeah, this, this southpaw here grabs my right-handed bass and he is just shredding. shredding. So I definitely need, um, where well, we're upping, we're going up and down. He's saying I, should, I shouldn't spend too much on a bass no. because someone will steal oh, yes. it. No. Oh, yes, no. I, I've, I've, had had my, say, but... I've had my electric guitar for years and no one stole it. And it's not as I'm gigging. I don't get well, yeah. yeah. Okay, well, uh, yeah. Um, so, how much? Five thousand dollars, did you say? Well, I was looking at around the five thousand dollar mark. <laughs> That's just stupid money, that. <laughs> I would never spend that much on a guitar. No. If I had it, even if I had it, oh, actually, if I was a billionaire, I would. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I get something yeah. good, but I don't know. I'm thinking. Well, you you were saying that you can get a good bass guitar for like seven hundred. Well, it's, uh, 550 or something? Yeah, yes, yeah. Um, I'm a big fan of FDMDERs. Yeah. 
Um, and thus, I, I'm trying to push in that direction. However, there are so many great companies out there that, well, not so much companies, but some very good bass guitars other than Fender. Fender. <laughs> you can say Fender. Ah, oh, Fender. Mm. Yeah. Fender Bender. No one's offended by the Fender. <laughs> Uh, well, you know, if you can find a nice Fender, what was I, that black one? Yeah, I think he, was the, he, he wants to go black. It was this, totally oh, there was one that had black and had like the shiny silver thingy guard oh, where yes. the buttons were. Right, right, so a pick guard. It was no, like, it wasn't a pick guard, it was all black, but it had a... Oh, that's a like my jazz, my jazz bass, or the Mustang. The, was it the Mustang? Mustang, mm. Sally bass. Yeah. Mm. Um, or there's the Jaguar bases as well. Oh yeah, I think we settled on the um, Jazz or... Oh, I know, the, the Paul McCartney... Um, the oh, no, 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 we, 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 we went to that one. Perfect. I didn't want the Paul McCartney one. <laughs> uh, Robbo, Robbo again, the disabled vlogger. I'm going to be seven years sober on July 7. I've been thinking about celebrating with a Carlton Zero. Ah, okay. Well, um, I'll July. raise my empty glass to you, sir. Yeah. Good for you, mate. I, I mean, I'd be... Congratulations. I'd be a rich man if... <laughs> if alcohol didn't exist. Yeah. That's a... Uh... Who doesn't drink alcohol? Seventh-day Adventists? The Muslims, they don't. Yeah. They must have heaps of money. Uh -huh. Imagine how much money they'd save on, on beers. Oh, yeah. Although the ones I used to work with used to drink. Yeah. Ah, well, you know, it's, what, what's, it's a bit of a choice. You know. One hand doesn't know what the other's doing, <laughs> yeah, so to right. speak. <laughs> well, that's good, Rob. I wish I was seven years sober. Excuse me. Oh, where are you going? Oh, uh, just... ah, okay. Oh, Wilbur Worm. <laughs> Gee, it's very generous of you, Wilbur. What do you say? Cascade Pure Blonde, if you can, or Draft. Cascade Pure Blonde or Draft? Hmm. The Pure Blonde, actually. Uh, I'll look later. Let me just write that down, though. Wilbur Worm. It's a funny name, Wilbur. Very generous of you. A uh, cascade. Now I'm trying to. Normally I just scribble stuff like all this stuff that I was writing about people's names and whatever. I go back and read it like the next day, and I got no idea what it says. So um, I've got to try and take a little bit more uh, care when I'm doing this. So a cascade pure blonde. Oh, I've never heard of the cascade one. Cascade. I thought. Well, I know the pure blonde, but uh, or draft. Well, the cascade draft. Wow, that's really nice of you, Wilbur. I'll I'll suss that out and I'll make a dedication video for you. Did I put a salmon in the dishwasher? No, I haven't done that, but. Um... <laughs> Salmon in the dishwasher. Yeah, you can cook foods in the, like the dishwasher, but you'd have to have it really well sealed. Ah, uh, kind yeah. of like the hot water cooks it. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, that reminds me of like cooking with engines, car engines. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah roast potato when you're yeah. like, in your <laughs> exhaust valve or a something. A little slab of trout, if it so takes your desire. Um, um, uh, is is. Are you a good soul off camera? He's very kind and he's very generous. Uh, he's fed many a homeless person. He invites them around his house. That's how good he is. And I'm the one saying, dude, don't invite them over. <laughs> yeah. Well, They'll hang around. Yeah, we had to evict one person one time. Uh, well, he, was, call the cops he was supposed on. to be a, um, a flatmate. But, uh, oh, no, not that one. Uh, no, the one that parked his car. Oh, that there. guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, mm -hmm. See, he just said, no, not that one. The other one. No, not uh, him. That other one. I like to give people the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> Who does? He gives them the benefit of the doubt and, well, he usually bites him in the ass. <laughs> However, I'm still standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Uh, what sort of work did I do before the holiday? Um, audio, visual, sound, lighting, vision, technician, and operating, operations sort of fellow. Um, yeah, events. Roadie. Roadies. I'll tell you what though, we were doing a, um, is, uh, we, we were doing a rehearsal yesterday and like, like this guy knows everything about like electronics, like uh, music wise and setting up like a, uh, like plugging, like bringing all these keyboards in with these, with these mixing desks and everything. And the, what are those other things on the top? Um, the mixer audio interface the audio interface. he just gets the cable plugs it in plug 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 this one bang 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 it works i was saying to him yes you should do a job like just fixing people's because <laughs> when they take it home they don't know how to plug it or where to plug it into well i am often um relied on in shopping centers because of my tallness to reach for stuff on the top shelf for the little old biddies and sometimes I can help them with their stereo units at home and um, get them their Zoom calls to work, etc. But I am no tech giant, no. Well, you're still really good at what he does, he's really good at. Now, 000, that, you said, somebody said that's on uh, SBS Free to Air or something. Um, uh, on demand, SBS on demand, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, it apparently it's good. good, very good. Yeah, that's, everyone's saying I should watch it. Because I started watching um, the one that everyone said I should watch uh, for now. What was it? Uh, where he goes to the, he's, he's working, he's the accountant and he, and he works and he does the, the money laundering. You know that one? Ozark. Yeah, that's the one. Ozark. I started watching that and I, I find myself just fast forwarding through a whole lot. Right. stuff. Well, that's not a good sign. Yeah, I just have this issue, and I did this with the, this other show. They like they have all these different stories, like these side stories, you know, in a, a series. Mm. And then like the Ozarks one, it's got the little kid with his gun, and uh, then he's got like some other some other girl with her issues and everything. And I I just not interested in that stuff. So I just fast forward through all that stuff. Okay, sounds a bit confusing. And uh, <laughs> and I, I'm not, train. yeah, well, I'm not exactly getting into uh, Ozark. Everyone raved about it, but I'm like, ah, this anything with kids in it, I don't want to see it. I just want to see like adults blowing each other up. <laughs> That's the best thing. Getting I love that stuff. Dexter, I mean, it doesn't matter. I, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see your killer dude, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, like. Uh, I'm going to sit through Ozark, though. I'm going to do it. So don't stress. Now, I'll just finish this and we'll get to the next one into us. The Colonial. Colonial. Now, by the way, this was, um, I think it was 4.6% alcohol. The Southwest. Yeah, 4.6. The Colonial Sour. Go and get some. Help the poor guy out who's copping all this crap from a bunch of, like, whining... Darrows. Get your kidney and filter some. Those, those, what do they call them? The, those people that try and shut everyone down? Um, Marxists. They're the Marxists and the... The Karens. The Karens. Uh, yeah. And the Jim Bobs. Sorry, the Bobs. Just dickheads. <laughs> we call them dickheads on this channel. I wouldn't go so far to be so... Polite. That's rude polite. to dicks. That's rude to That's dicks, calling them a dickhead. Uh, yes. Have you rinsed your glass? Oh, oh, uh, Give it a bit of a rinse. Because after this one, we've got a very special treat that Brian brought over. So we get back on the Colonials. Uh, these are Victorian. And uh, we got the, this one is six point something percent. 6.5. Yes. Yeah, so it should be good. Super excited about this one. So, uh, the old Colonials, you now they've been copping a bit of hiding from the Karens lately because of, because they're called Colonial. And they're being, all the woke people are, you need to change your name because that's the racist. You know, those wankers, man. Those 
First world problem, people. Got nothing else to complain about. So they complain about a beer. A beer's name. Well, it's, they've run out of um, John Cleese's and... But the, you know the, the irony... etc. The irony of, of this whole thing is that the, the person who said he's going to ban uh, the colonial beers, his shop name is Black Hearts. It's like, well... Uh, wouldn't you be changing your name first? Absolute effing morons. Well, where people. do you stop? Like, let's not exactly. stop at his name. Exactly. But yeah, they don't stop. They'll just keep going. They just hate everything about themselves and their own lives. And they try and take it out on everyone else. And me, I don't, I don't fit in that genre. Those well, people... You're not quite John, are you? <laughs> Those people are dead set scumbags. So here we go. The uh, Colonial IPA. This is good because... Oh, this smells fruity too. 6.5%. Oh. And that it's a, like even more intense yeah. fruity. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking more urinal myself. <laughs> You know, it would be really nice right about now to offset this would be some urinal cakes. <laughs> no, no. But uh, Trough let's, let's see this. Uh, the, an IPA, Aussie IPA. Oh. No, no, no. Hold on. Just wait a minute. Just go back here. Savoring the smell. It does have that slightly more distinct kind of tang to it. Oh, Karen. Not all Karens are Karens. Oh, uh, sorry, Karen. Sorry, Karen. <laughs> I didn't mean that. Yeah. Uh, Depend, I, I, they, no, they're the uh, Corona Karens, most of those ones. Ah, uh, okay. But yeah, sorry, Karen. I uh, know oh, they're not. But Ben's Tunes, thank you very much. Oh, good day, Ben. Uh, that, oh! I've seen him on Facebook now from down Victoria. Is it, yeah, he's Melbourne? in a band. And he's got a, a, a DX7? Have you got a DX7? <laughs> the trough lollies at the casino. Oh, yeah. Mm. Smell like creamy soda. Ah, oh, that's luxury. Luxury. Mm. What genre do I fit in? I don't know, mate. Any port in a storm, they say they say. I don't know what genre. Any John. Just being myself. I don't fit into anyone's expectations. Uh, I just well, do I whatever should. I want, uh, whenever I want. And if people don't like it, then, well, hopefully I've annoyed them, at least. You know. Got to annoy people. Roland Juno DS. Cool. Well, That's this smells cool. like uh, pineapple punch, this one. But they all smell like that. Oh. Whoa. Mm. That's strong. Ah. Gee, that really grabs you by the boo boos. <laughs> <laughs> Should I just had a roll of smoke? Oh, I brought my rollies over just in case I was asked. No, oh, really. Should I? No. I mean, you got to hold it up there. Yeah, it's too yeah, hard. Yeah. Um, going back to the Juno, um, back in the 90s, I was in a band and we had one of those original Junos, analog. Such a great keyboard. Um, yeah, just with the ability to sculpt the envelopes and tweak the resonances. Oh, yeah. Mm. Classic. But, See, uh, you have know, no idea is what he's talking about. Modern and digital, I guess. Mm. Mm. Well, this is pretty good. Oh, I'm actually like that first sip was like whoa, but uh, the second one, mm, it's yeah. um, oh, it's oh, pretty oh, smooth because the alcohol's so high. Mm. Yeah, it's oh. all right. It's a pretty, still got that bitterness about it. Yeah. It's pretty so hoppy. It yeah. But, but um, it's very fruity as well. Is it a sour as well of sorts? Uh, 
Well, it's nowhere near as sour as that other one. That was really sour. Yeah, jeez. Uh, that was like lemon with some beer mixed in with it. So it was right, like a, uh, a lemon sour, a beer sour, which is exactly what it is. <laughs> That's why they call it a sour. Gosh. This one is pretty sweet. It's smooth. You can taste the alcohol in it. You know, it'd be really good. Is a slice of grapefruit on top of that. Just. Oh yeah. Mm. Well, that one tastes like the other one tastes a bit like grapefruit. Mm. Uh, what if you mix both those beers together? Oh no, Frankenstein. Yeah. It's sour. It's Frankenstein. Should have left the dregs in the bottom of the glass. <laughs> <sighs> but this is all right. I mean, yep. it's, it yeah. tastes, it's a solid tasting beer. That's for sure. It's rather nice. It's very solid. Um, uh, have I heard of Chaz? Uh, Chaz. Uh, that's at uh, those psychos in Seattle that are against the borders, and so they've built a a border around their community to stop people they don't like coming in. Oh. Um, you know, one a typical one of those people. Yeah, yeah. Uh, ben, um, I love Roland too. I've got a SH01. Uh, which I use live, and it's uh, rather nice. Seven years old now, um, as a model goes, I guess. This is? Oh, a sound canvas? Yeah, yeah. I've got one downstairs, which I never use. <laughs> so you pay too much, Chris Paul. Eight dollars, <laughs> oh. I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh yeah, yeah. The the ratings. Uh, what would you What would you have given out of five oh, for this okay. one? Um, that's. I would give it a. 3.2. Oh, gee, that's all right. Mm. Yeah. I mean, it's a good good quality. It's all right. Yeah. Uh, it's got a hell of a punch, though. I'd give it a, a 2.75 because I wouldn't get it again. Mm. But and, uh, it's still good quality. This is this is uh, very good quality. You can taste the quality in it. And it's... Hang on. Hmm. It's actually a nice, it's a pretty nice blend. It's got that sweetness about it. And then the the hoppiness isn't like that sort of hoppiness. I, I approve of the higher alcohol percentage. However, there is a slight mm, that gets me, like the, that sort of real Bersox. bitey tang or something. And um, so that's why I'm going to give it a 2.8. Oh, okay. I'm going in increments of two today. No, I'd give this a 3.25, this one. It's it's pretty nice. It's just, uh, it's very strong. And, um, yeah, maybe even a, just give it a three and a half, just because people are giving them crap. And makes you a bit of a point on there. Few tell points. Me, tell me, do they have any other varieties? Oh, yeah, they've got a, um, a lager and a pale ale. Uh, it's just a straight pale ale. Yeah, I'd be which I was looking for today. I was looking for like a, a bunch of their beers, but um, these were the only two I could find. Maybe they'd already sold out because everyone's gone out buying them up, supporting them. Ah, uh, good, good. Yeah. Sometimes the community does come together for important issues. That's right. Mm. Let's support our the people that are being um, have having all their, you know. All those cultural Marxists and, trying to shut down people's voices. Just trying to figure out where in Melbourne. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Just a minute. It's probably made in the same place. Uh, Osmington Margaret, Road. Oh, Margaret hang on. River. That's Western Australia. Oh, yeah. See on here, it's got Margaret River, Colonial Brewing Co., Port Melbourne or something. God, this is so confusing. So I Brood. think it, maybe it's a Western Australian beer. Ah, oh, who knows? I don't even know. Wow. Well, I mean, probably it was brewed in China for all we know. No, no, no. It's a Western Australian. Let's say it's Western Australian. But the part that's given them grief is uh, Victorian, of course. You know. Ah, that's where it comes yeah, in. Yeah. Well, you know what they're like down there. Yeah. No virtue signalers. Yeah, call, them, they do. call them frostbacks. Frostbacks? That's so cold down there. Oh. <laughs> well, this is right now, I think. I was born there, but I was oh, born you? there. Carlton. That's a good place. Carlton? 
Well, it sounds be beer because it. it sounds like a beer. You would have paid twenty five hundred for the oh for the sound canvas or oh no for oh the 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 old Juno yeah right yeah yeah. What's yeah. the best beer to get from the bottle though? <laughs> well, that's a. That's a... How long is a piece of string? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> How long is a piece of string? Why is the sky blue? Not today, though. Oh, white ox. A molasses. Uh, uh, white ox, it's so... It's got a prison connotation. Um, I have tried it, but it's so fucking harsh. Uh, yeah, there's, there's probably that much 1800 left. So not much. Go the mighty Broncos and the Titans. I go for the uh, I go for the Cowboys. Because I was born in Townsville. You're a cowboy. <laughs> I had my cowboy hat here before. Yeah. I took it off. It's more of a beanie day, eh? Yeah, it was pretty cold today. Well, it wasn't. Uh, it sort of went cold. Shout out to VB. God knows how many of those I've sucked down in my youth. It's a Western Australia beer, probably can to Victoria. No, I think it was just made in uh, Western Australia. And distributed by a Victorian enterprise. That's my guess. <laughs> Very nice, mate. Oh, you must but be then reckons you can buy guitars from JB Hi-Fi. I've never seen a guitar there. Uh, yeah. Maybe in the old Yeah, but like they're, they're just, they're like cheap ass, like. Um, so let's just slap on any old brand onto this thing, and it's just they're terrible. Mm -hmm. not, not very nice. You know, you know. Greg here is a, a man of discerning tastes, and thus we shall spend lots of his money on a good bass guitar. Well, I want something like the one that you've got is really nice because I mean, the neck on it's the right thickness, and it just feels like, like last night I was playing it upside down. I was playing just one string, but mate, it was just so easy to, and I was guessing all the right tunes and everything. Yeah, yeah. No, he's uh, he was on fire last night. Oh, I was. Could have been all those cloud. Um, it's cloudy. Catching. Uh, I was catching quite a few clouds last night. That's a really good drop. That one. I'm really enjoying that one. Very nice. But this one, yeah, I mean, it's all right. The, the, for, the longer I'm drinking it, the sweeter it's sort of getting. And it's got that, I know it's got an orangey juice sort of taste about it. It does, yeah. Um, I, I notice as it's getting warmer, um, it's slightly getting more palatable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely leaving it out of the fridge uh, for that little extra bit uh, has really helped with this IPA because it actually tastes much sweeter now and yeah, palatable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Now you can go to a bush stuff and just have those cans in your purse. Let them get to oh, doof room temperature or creek, creek temperature. Try, try oh, them yeah, in a creek. In a creek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Middle of winter. Yeah, or in summer. I mean, that water's still. While you're at it, have a steamy degrees. Oh, I used to love. I used to love just chilling beers in the creek in the old days. And skinny dipping too, in the creek. Let's just not forget. Oh, my the joys live, of skinny dipping. I grew up at the Gap in Brisbane, and we live right near a creek. We just go down there like every day. We just walk right up and down this creek. I think I know be, that creek. And there was uh, little hole, hole bits in there, and you'd swim in there, and their little guppies would come up and nibble on you. And, ah, had the best like childhood living near a creek and i bet you when it started raining heavy and falling oh, you would be like getting that little boogie board out and... dude we would run up there was probably a couple of kilometers up the road there was a bridge yeah, yeah. just a little foot bridge across the creek and we used to go up to that one we'd jump in an inner tube and then just go down to the other bridge which is where i live near yeah. did you so, realize you're toying with your life there <laughs> Yeah, of course. It was great but fun. But that though. was childhoods back in the day. It was great fun. Oh. Yeah, just going down the flooded creeks. They were charging too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I used to love doing that. It was so much fun. Have you ever gone to the 
uh, Corumban rock pools right up, you know, and those, the, the main section there, and you just go down the rock slippery. <laughs> uh, yes. Crazy, isn't it? Well, the first, yeah, we actually did that a couple of years ago when my mate Craig came out, and he was like, yeah, I'll do it. It sort of dropped, yeah, there's one big chunk bit before, yep. yeah, yeah, and he did his spine on that, and yeah. it sort of ruined the rest of his trip because he was out here from America, so. Like the next two weeks, he couldn't sit down, and he was like, oh, he was showing off, of course. Yeah, yeah. But um, playing it up. Yeah. So we were telling him not to do it. Don't do it, mate. I wouldn't trust it. Yeah. Well, yeah. Got so much to live for. Especially at our age, when you start heading around the fifty mark, you know, it's like nah, just them bones just, don't knit quickly, do they? There's some things you just can't do anymore, and uh, those sorts of things are yeah, you can't. Jonathan Thurston, mate, i tell you what, if I was uh, that way inclined, I'd be chasing Jonathan, that's for sure. Oh, there's still town, uh, Crocs in Townsville, is there? <laughs> should we defund the police? <laughs> we should defund the politicians, I reckon. Just don't defund Greg over here. <laughs> But defunding, that, that is such the most stupidest thing yeah. that I've it, ever that heard. That is kind of... It is so uh, retarded. What do they want, anarchy? Yeah, they're just idiots, these people. Public they, disorder they're just, into grand riotish um, effects. Absolute dumbasses, these people. Defund the police. It's like, <laughs> okay. It used well. to be like, fuck the police. And now it's defund the police. <laughs> <laughs> I look older than Brian, that's because I am. I'm like six years older. <laughs> Nearly 60, yeah, that's pretty getting close. Not far else. off. It's just my uh, blonde beard. Mm. Gray, blonde is a new grey. I just say it's blonde, it's not really. It's pretty grey, who cares, mate? And Brian is always very nicely, cleanly shaven. Not quite, but uh, I do look a bit younger today because I did get a haircut. Oh, yeah, that's today. right. <laughs> For the uh, thing that we don't know if it's going to be on now. Ah, uh, well, it probably would have been better if I didn't get a haircut, but it doesn't matter. You I'm, need I'm, one I'm under a scarf anyway. And, you need one And the cabin boy's got to look sharp for the cabin. Yeah, yes, sir. you got all those big, long hairs growing up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looking a bit... Oh, yeah, so you left it a little bit longer on top of it to this time. Yes, yeah. yeah. Instead of going all short. Normally he's got this, like, wavy, you know, the... What's it? He hasn't even got a bald spot yet, either. Fucking bastard. I know, there's something happening right about... Well, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, it's getting... As they say, fine. Thin and fine. Well, as long as there's something you can, like, comb over. Uh, without having too much of a comb over. Hmm. There is no fucking way in. Where? I would never have a comb on it. No. No, I'd wear a wig instead. <laughs> no, you just shave it. Just, just clip her it all yeah, off. That's exactly what would happen. But, um, yeah. It's funny how, the, when, as you start getting bolder, like more, more hair grows everywhere else. Like it, it's like a, it's sort of, you know, going down your body. Yeah, well, this is what happens. Father time is not often kind. Father time? Yeah, father time. Not mother time. That's oh, mother okay. earth. It's called hawk. A hawk. Mohawk. What's a hawk? Mohawk, mate. Mohawk. Oh, like, okay. But hawk is like the cool sort of shortened version. Oh, I, I got the hawk, man. I got conker here. Okay, I got, conker. I got, I got conker's rum in the in the um, cupboard. Oh, good on you! Well, now's a good time. Uh, <laughs> no, I'll save that for tomorrow night. I'll do it. I'll do another live one tomorrow. <coughs> yeah, you you're gonna have uh, some some lady around, so I'll just be on my own. Ah, uh, true. That is true. And I'll crack. Uh, I'll crack the. Um, the the new bourbon that I got. Oh, yes, yes. Mm. Sounds good. Mm. Yeah. Um, here did you see? I showed you. Yes, yes, you did. Yes. But uh, this is like a, a taste of things to come. Mm. 
Right. So, so tomorrow I'll I'll crack this one open, and because well I, I looked at all the reviews online and they were saying that a lot of people were preferring this to Jack. Like Jack Daniels drinkers were going, oh yeah, this is much better than Jack. I'm a convert now. So uh, this was somebody who brought me this. Uh, Christopher Rudd. <coughs> Christopher Rudd bought me that one. And then I've got Chris Rudd. Oh, Chris Rudd. Is he down from uh, Willembar ways? I don't know, mate. Ah. But um, this is the one that Conker. Conker gave me some money to get some scotch. Well, and I, I thought, uh, I'll get some Bundaberg rum instead. Actually, what I want to do is get some gin. Oh, now, now you're talking. Yeah. yeah, I'd like to get some gin. That's I'm sort a, of. Quite a versatile drink. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Mm. And the one I want to get is a tanker ray, but it's forty one ninety nine or something. And I'm like, ah, might go on special soon for like thirty eight dollars or something. So I'm sort of holding out. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Would that be the tanker ray blue sapphire, perhaps? Uh, no, no, just so because I used to when I had my back problems, uh, my Cairo. <laughs> yes. My chiropractor, who who was a friend of mine. Right. Uh, I used to. He didn't want to charge me. Okay. He said, oh, just give me a bottle of... He used to call it mother's milk. Ah. Yeah. He loved his Tanqueray gin, so... God, for a moment there, I thought you were going to say that your chiropractor recommended you like take about five Valium and have a good swig of that gin. Mm. No. That would help. But he used to, he used to love it. He used okay. to love the Tanqueray. So I thought, oh, well, I'll, I, I probably had it, but... Um, and because that's a good middle range, I see most of the other gins, then it steps up to like 60 bucks. Like there's the Gordons, Jeez. the Gordons is like 36, then there's the Tanqueray, and then it, there's nothing like, that's like 40, and then it all steps up to like 60. So God, later on, I'll, I'll I remember spending upwards of $60 in bottles of liquor before the holiday. <laughs> <laughs> now it's goon bags. <laughs> Frozen pizzas, which I'm hacking. Oh, yeah. Uh, do a road trip to Toowoomba. Mm -hmm. That's the, the garden city, isn't it? Oh, thanks, Ben Jones. You pushed the wrong button, did you? <coughs> uh, get my whiskey now. Well, like I just said, you know, this is my Australian whiskey. <laughs> The sugar cane champagne, I think they call it. You don't, you just don't bat for the uh, peat hoarding size, do you? Well, I mean, what whiskey do you get? There's so many different ones. Well, yeah, yeah, there is. So this is this is the Conker. This is my Conker whiskey. This one. <laughs> but I mean, down the, I'll have to get some whiskey sometime because next time Mum comes over, I'm sure she'll be, uh, she'll be one ear. She'll be going. Oh no, <coughs> that's why I need the gin as well. Uh, you went to Pi Pi. Ah. Did you tell them Greg sent you? They know. They've had a few. I went back there and I I just, on my one of my bike rides, I went past and I said, oh, does anyone come by? And they said, yeah, yeah, we had lots of people come in. Tell them that Greg sent us. And That's great. Yeah. Yeah, so um, thanks to all those people that like go to these places that I like review as well. It's really nice, you know. I always go back. I went back to... Um, uh, Pete's Pelican Pete's fish and chip shop too and he said I dropped in there and I said oh hi you remember me he goes oh yeah yeah oh do you want a fish and chips I was like no 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 it's all right I just came in to see if anyone had come into the shop he said oh mate I came in just before the 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 COVID thing all happened and he said and he said Thank you so much because without you and you doing that video, uh, we probably would have shut our doors. So it, it had that much of an effect on his shop and he was so grateful because he said there was heaps of people just coming in uh, saying that they'd seen on, on Greg's Kitchen and the review. So, mate, it was really nice. You know, it's really great hearing those sorts of things. Uh, it's just really, yeah, it just makes you feel much better. You can buy homemade pork with crackling at IGA for 20 bucks. Homemade in a, in a corporate um, factory? That's weird. 
JD is a Tennessee whiskey, not a bourbon. Well, I got no idea. Gibbo. Oh, ah, oh, of course. Never knew. I, I didn't put two and two together. Yeah. Right. It still comes under the bourbon thing, though, doesn't it? Do, do you yeah, actually bourbons. like Jack Daniels? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Well, you should have a Scotch and Jack Daniels shootout. Like, is this a whiskey or is it not? This is a whiskey, I know that much. Well, what's but that? Well, what's this then? Oh, this says bourbon. So that's a bourbon. I'll be looking forward to, oh, I feel like cracking this one right now. Hold off, hold off. It's, I know it's so tantalizing, but uh, no, 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 just put it down. This is Step a Kentucky, away from Kentucky the straight bourbon whiskey. It's only aged for three years, though. Yeah, still. 22 standard drinks, 80 proof. 80? Distilled and aged in the USA. Ooh, yeah. Good old US. I can't wait for tomorrow. I'm going to crack that bad boy. Yeah, well, uh, you should uh, do it like a barbecue at the same time, you know? Like make a, one of those uh, basting sauces with Coke, cold in it. Get some ribs, whack it all over it, and fire up the barbie. It'll be too dark. The barbecue, it? sorry. Be too dark, no one will be able to see it. Smacks of effort too, doesn't it? But uh yeah, we'll see, Congo. Maybe I'll, you know, maybe I'll I need to get a bottle of scotch. So okay, this one this I will, one okay. I will, I will. This oh. one, okay, you didn't get me this, Congo. You didn't get me this one. I'll I'll go and get a bottle of scotch with you else because um, you you sent it for some scotch. I'll give the this one can be uh, for uh, Robbo. Robbo, the disabled blog vlogger. No, 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 but he's 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 a um, teetotaler now. Yeah, that's all right. This color of tea. <laughs> <laughs> this will be the Robbo one. I'll, I'll go. I'll go and get the. Uh, I'll go and get the. I'll go and get some scotch. What's a good scotch though? You know. Um, Jameson is awesome. It's so silky and smooth. Just goes down your gullets like, like food. Actually, a goon bag review wouldn't be too hard because Brian loves his goon bags. Well, they make awesome pillows at the end of the session. Well, that's right. <laughs> well, the new guitar strings are really good. Man, they sound so much better. You used to drink Bundy rum. Oh, well, there you go, Robbo. He's probably got a few stories why he doesn't now. Yes, so this is, this is dedicated to Robbo. You know what, I should write, I should write their names on it. Who dedicated them? Where's my... He's oh, so studious and uh, very conscientious. <laughs> Right here somewhere. There's Robbo's. Actually, I should write on the front here. And sign it too. <laughs> Even though he's a teetotaler. So, Robbo, because I do that with my stuff here. Robbo's Bundaberg Rum. There you go. And I'll, I'll do another. Uh, but you still have to get Who gave me this one? zero Carlton. Oh, this one was um, Chris. Oh, right on the back because I haven't cracked it yet. This is Chris's. Chris's. <coughs> bourbon. Mm -mm. Can't wait to get stuck into those bourbons. Oh, mate. Yes, Ooh. while I'm entertaining, uh, uh, well, cooking dinner and stuff, he'll be getting smashed. I'm not getting smashed. No, it's too hard to get smashed on this. Normally, like you, like like what we're doing now, right? Yeah, that's right. Normally, we would have had what three or four beers. Uh, in this time, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Instead, we've had one. We've shared two beers, so you actually drink. It actually saves you money doing these live. <laughs> Yeah, like, I should really learn how to converse better and just blab, 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 blab all day long. Then I wouldn't smoke as many cigarettes and I wouldn't drink as much alcohol. There wouldn't be enough time. Chicken bum. Conquer whiskey. Oh, yeah, that's got a nice ring to it. 
Oh, thanks, Colby. <laughs> yeah, Pelican Pets, <coughs> mate. He was wrapped. Um, Lag Vulan, 16. Write it down. You'll thank me later. What am I, what am I thanking it later? For the Lag, lag of lag Vulan. Vulan 16. Yeah. Now, what's 16 snap? Probably 16 years. So it'll be a... Oh. It'll be a... Top shelf. Lag... Lagavulin. Oh, God. L-A-G. That sounds really expensive. A-U-V-U-L-I-N. A-V-U-L-I-N. A-V. 16. Let's see. Lagavulin. Is it a Scotch or an Irish or a... Mm, Welsh, maybe. Do the Welsh do whiskey? I'll thank you later. Well, I mean, I, I think I prefer <coughs> now to just drink uh, like scotches on um, on the rocks. Yeah, yeah. Or with a dash of water or something. I think on the rocks is probably the best. Actually, one nice-ish sort of way is with ginger beer. Scotch and ginger. Oh, okay. Now, I've seen that Bundy Red. Um, it's filtered through eucalyptus. Jameson's not Scotch. Well, I had that bottle of Grants there for ages. That's, oh, sorry. Jameson is a whiskey. But, ah. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Robbo. Ah, oh, Robbo. Oh, no. Tullamore Jew. Irish whiskey, yep, yep, nice. <laughs> Glenn Fiddick, mate, yeah. you... you they're too expensive, all these ones. <coughs> oh, Monkey Child. Yeah, I gave my mum mm. a bottle of that once for um, Christmas. Bell and... Sorry, Bell Whiskey. <laughs> yeah, Scotch and Ginger Beer. Conquer, you are so right. Oh, get a Ivan. Scotch and Ginger Beer. Yeah, just on the rocks. Yeah. Maybe I could just have to start... Because, I mean, whenever you go to... Like, when you're watching, like... A TV show, or that. Then I had um, what was that one? Um, with all the basketballers, that live. Oh, it was on Netflix. It was um, the Last Dance. It always showed Michael Jordan sitting there with a cigar and like a tumbler. A of tumbler of which I'm suspecting was scotch, <laughs> and he was always drinking the old scotches. Well, well, I'll go and have a look. I'll go for a walk around. Uh, we'll walk around and see what's going down. Uh, Brian needs another drink. Damn oh, straight. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. <laughs> and just stand back. Oh, stand back and see what Brian brought around for us to try. Um, oh, yes. I will go through the rinse. Well, I've got some fresh glasses here. Okay, right. Because this one will be a, uh, I think it'll deserve a nice fresh glass. This is in uh, homage, homage to my Irish relatives and the time I spent there, over five years there in the 2000s. Spent five years living in Ireland. Just to get to know my family and get down with it. But uh, I developed a taste pretty much straight away for Guinness. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Ooh, the draft Guinness down. Oh, mate. Uh, Look at that they, they say you can't drink that all night, but God, I really pulled the sheets back on that one many a time. And, uh, <laughs> Yeah, Dublin. Uh, my mum's from Dublin, the north side, uh, Donny Carney. Um, but I uh, did some travelling to the west coast and I found the best tasting Guinness there. Must be something in the water. Yeah, mm. beautiful. So we're going to crack one of these. All right. Uh, now, this is the thing. You've got to have your glasses lined up quickly because it's got the widget thing in there. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, let me just get uh, this for oh, you. I don't need them lined. No. Okay, well, it's going to do the widget thing. <laughs> well, that's all. Quick. Oh. Ah, to be sure, to be sure. 
Why did the Irishman wear two condoms? To be sure. To be, to be sure, sure. To be sure. It's a fan of doing that thing, you know. Like, uh, oh, I can do that. That's all right. That's, that's all right. It's a bit hard to guess in a sealed can. Oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. Now I'm salivating. Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. You know, let it settle, Petal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Murphy's is better than Guinness. Yeah, yes. Um, yeah. There's be. a valid argument there. and uh, But I, I like the Guinness better. Mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> G'day, vampire. <laughs> a good cheap cigar. Cheap cigar. Um, I'll have a cigar. Yeah. Yeah. But we must have that music playing in the background. <clears throat> Very jazzy, very refined, very kind of resplendent. If you say so. Mm, look at that creamy head. Oh my god. Slanche. Slanche, Luke. Don't focus on me, focus on that. Oh, yes. Mm -mm. G'day, Dennis. I can't wait. <laughs> oh, wow. Mmm, that smells so nice. It tastes like iron. Army goodness. Iron? Mmm, Irish stew with Guinness or a Guinness beef pie. Oh, mm, that tastes nice. That tastes pretty nice. Slanche, you know, you gorious. Good day, Aussies. Aussies Yobbo world. <laughs> You've had creamy head before. Mm. Oh. Hundred likes for whiskey. Nah, nah. I'm, I, I want to say that for a special video. Nine nine bucks. Whoa. $99? There you go. That's, uh, yeah, you need a sponsor, I guess. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a lot of money. That's $100. Oh, God. I was thinking more around the, you know, $40 range. Yeah, well, that's... that's well, maybe pretty 50 much, though. The, well, that'd be like, like a Glenn Fedder quid a, a $50, a <clears throat> $50, I think. Um, personally, I, I back to the gym. I'd really like to try um, the Victory brand gin from 1984. What's that one? Well, that's the book 1984 via also the film thus from the book. And there's a scene where they're at the end, near the end, and basically the dude and his missus. Girlfriend, they've both been put through the ringer by the government. And then they're sitting in a pub having oily victory gin, yeah. contemplating their terrible life. Yeah, yeah but it's rather deep. George Orwell, yes, yes. Treat yourself and thank you later. I've written that down. I, I doubt I'm going to be spending a hundred dollars on a bottle of, on a bottle of anything. Well, um, I'm in the lotto for this Saturday. If I win, I'll get it oh, okay. for you. Oh, thanks. Yeah, one for myself. Yeah, and we'll drink to. We'll get a few bottles. Better times. <laughs> we'll do. We'll get like six different bottles and and do a taste test. So, um, chances of that are quite um, minuscule. But as I say, you've got to be in it to win it. And that's pretty much the only gambling I do. And What's that's that? once a year, the lotto or something like oh, that. Oh, the lotto. Uh, I did it when it was up to 100 and... It was up to like that 160 million or something. The week before it was like 
I think it was 40 million, then went to 80 million, then it went up to like 160 million or something. And I went in each of those weeks. See, that's just too much money to win for one person. Yeah, a few people won it. Okay. They're still like, they got like 40 million each. Yeah, too much. Too much money. No, 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 no. no it suit me fine. <laughs> well, if you put that in some investment thing yeah, and you're getting like 5%, you're only you're only getting making two million dollars a year, and the government will take half of that. So you're getting, well, you're getting a million dollars a year for the rest of your life. Yeah. Plus, you could spend as much as that yeah, you as, want as yeah. you wanted. You buy a small island. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd, I'd know what I'd buy for that money. I wouldn't be buying boats or anything. I don't think. I'd buy Richard Branson's island and kick him off. <laughs> I'm sure he's got way more money than you. Yeah, true. Doesn't sound like it by the way he's been putting out his hand, but there you go. The cheesy beef burger. Yeah, that's right, Ben. Uh, actually, um, just watch tomorrow's um, fast food review. Ooh. There's a hint of mystery there, yet... Well, it's a cheesy beef burger. Oh, no. <laughs> Hardly miss it. <laughs> oh, no, it's not like a sausage. What? A cheese, mystery oh, cheesy, bag. oh, cheesy sausage. What? No, no, like, uh, they, they call sausages like mystery bags, isn't it? Or meat pies. Sorry, those are mystery bags. Actually, I know someone whose parents won the lotto. First prize. But... Uh, they that was back in like the nineties, and there was like a a few people won, so they only got four hundred thousand dollars each. But oh. still, they, in those days or eighties, yeah. in the eighties, you could probably still buy <coughs> three houses with that. Mm. Yeah, we'd have set them up. Oh yeah, 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 I got heaps of money. Well, I think so. <laughs> Jack Sparrow. <laughs> Where are you getting five <coughs> percent? Well, some there are some shares that are doing five percent. I know someone that uh, they guarantee ten percent. Won't go into that, but they guarantee a ten percent refund return. Buy Domino shares. Be good if you got like free pizzas if you had yeah. like <laughs> if you had twenty thousand dollars in shares you get like one free pizza a month or something. Yeah, I reckon at, what, at those shareholder meetings for Domino's, do they all get free pizza? Oh yeah, when I went to um, when I went to uh, that Domino's thing up in Brisbane, I was invited by uh, you know the boss, mm -hmm. and there was a few other like vloggers there. But all the staff that work in the um, the building, there's a Domino's store downstairs. They just order what they want and they get free lunches. So free Domino's every day for lunch. I'd say they surely be You'd sick, get sick, sick of it. Of it yeah. You'd get sick of it pretty easy. But they had the ice cream machine in there and <coughs> they're getting free Domino's. So I'm pretty sure uh, that you'd, uh, they'd be given, they they always given out free pizzas anyway. Mm. They yeah. always. They're Which, so gen generous, the Domino's. Yeah. Would you? Probably, wouldn't cost too much each pizza they're giving ah, out. You know? Sure, only cost a couple of dollars. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if they can do, so do they that five ninety five lunch. Yeah. Pizza. Um, no, they still got to make profits off that. So, but uh, do they go out and give pizzas to the homeless and that sort of thing? No, no, no they're yeah. like during that, like all those, all this COVID stuff, and they went around all the hospitals or whatever. Okay. You know, all yeah. the nursing staff awesome. or whatever. Awesome. Yeah. Is, is Domino's stuff. an Australian company or? No, uh, there's Domino's Australia and there's Domino's US. Like, it started in the US, but um, Don May, he bought the. Australian name franchise, so he's, well, and then he franchises all the places out, but he's like the main shareholder of Domino's. <coughs> I think he makes an absolute, quite a lot of money. Yeah, mozzarella. 
He makes a mozzarella oh, of Amani yeah. every year, uh, every year. That's a spicy mozzarella and cash ball, yeah? Yeah. And I think he's got a car collection as well. Ah. He drives like a different whatever to work yeah, every that's day. that's so a homage to the delivery drivers in itself. <laughs> he started off as a delivery driver. Yeah. That's the whole thing. He started off, then he bought the whole company. <clears throat> Amazing. He's a really nice guy, though. No, not Mr. X. <laughs> uh, probably the only <coughs> ice cream machine that works. <laughs> is, is there some sort of inside joke on that one? Well, you know, whenever you go to like a McDonald's or something and it's like, oh, can I have an ice cream? Oh, no, the machine's not working. Ah, oh, right, okay. They're, they're not really working most of the time. Jeez, Sizzler's uh, ice cream machines must get a workout. Uh, do you know, I went to Sizzler to do a review and um, it's, a, it's a video that's going to come up at some stage. I already made it, but um, at the moment, because of the Chinese cold, like if you can go into the restaurant, but they don't have the buffet all set out, you, yeah. you, tell, <clears throat> you tell the lady or guy or whatever that's serving your counter or your table what you want and then they go and fill your plate up for you. <laughs> oh, what if you can't remember the name of that particular salad that you like? Well, that's right. I mean, it's so ridiculous. I'll have that beetroot walnutty uh, thing. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, it, and that's, it's the, pro the portion sizes as well. Mm, yeah. Don't be skimpy on the beetroot and walnuts. Now you worked at Sizzlers. So did I. <laughs> oh, did you? Yep. Wow. Back in the um, uh, early 90s. It was my first job out of school, and I was a, a dish room attendant, as they called it. So it was pretty low in the pecking order there. Yeah. Go start off low. Yeah. Work your way up to, like, check out a system. Well, I didn't, I didn't stick around long enough to climb that particular ladder mm. which is a pity because i like their food a lot uh, conker wants to know what's for dinner well i can show you what i've got for dinner i made it last night <laughs> but uh i actually made dinner in the afternoon i thought oh, i'll stick it in the fridge and and have it there ready so it's been sitting there i'm gonna have to do something with it but then I went around to Brian's place uh, for a, a drink, and then one um, thing led to another. Then one thing led to another, and this other guy Tim came around, Tim. and he said he brought all this like stuff. He goes, "Oh, I came around to cook. it was his birthday. He mm. said, oh, 'Oh, I'm coming around to cook us all dinner.' I was like, "Oh, what? I said, yeah. I said, well, I've got dinner at home, but yeah, right, yeah. Right and now. then he. So he cooked up like this fried chicken. And this is like at 11 p.m. Yeah, this is like 11 o'clock last night. Could have been later. But there was like this rice bowl with all this stuff mixed yeah, in. Yeah, so um, he, he made a couple, couple of dishes, like uh, the golden curry, Japanese golden curry, oh, vegetable. I don't think I got Plus, that. like he was frying, deep frying karaji chicken bits and, uh, and made some rice up. And it tastes so good. It was pretty good. Mm. Mm. However, I, like I woke up this morning and it was like a bomb went off in my kitchen. <laughs> he was going, don't worry, I'll clean it up, I'll clean it up. He bought oil and everything, like in jars. <clears throat> he bought like a jar of oil to fry the chicken in. He brought like everything. But I'll show you my dinner. <laughs> Some lettuce, tomato and onion. You're such a rabbit. Well, you know, I eat a lot of junk food. I eat a lot of crap, so. Okay. But now this, the balance. now the uh, this bits of lettuce on the top are a bit crappy, so I'll, I'll take those bits off. Because the bag of lettuce I bought already had the discount sticker on it as well. But hopefully, <laughs> it'll be crappy. But mate, once I add enough mayonnaise into this, <coughs> you won't even notice. You should go with the balsamic vinegar and olive oil. Um, great way to do it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, I like, do that. I, no, I just I like uh, mayonnaise. Okay. Because yeah. it's creamy. Creamy. Uh, some, uh, 
Although sometimes, it depends if I add some, um, a tin of tuna. I'll throw a tin of tuna ah, in there. Anchovies. But yeah, I mean, I eat junk, you know, the shit I eat. I eat so much crap. So I like to have a salad. A salad, uh, most, most times I like a salad. Um, uh, Especially in summer, it's a bit cold now for a salad. I'm wishing I didn't have it, but I've got to eat it because, well, I paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> I hate yeah. wasting things. I hate seeing lettuce wilt. Yeah. Yeah, you know, you just wasted money. Well, I got this huge bag of that lettuce. I, I, actually, uh, mm. for a dollar fifty. That was very enjoyable. Right. Boing, it's, um, boing, boing. Uh, Oh, washed and ready to eat. Oh, thank God for that. Ah, no insecticides in it then. Lovely. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it was a discount. Dollar forty nine. Yes. It was the big three dollar bag too. And then that's half the other half of the onion. I just put that there. Uh, listen, I, I I've got a pretty important tip for you there. What? Onions. Like if they've been cut, use a little bit of, and you put in the fridge. Pretty much soak up all the dead bacteria, yucky shit into it. Mm. Never reuse an onion. Well, I've been reusing onions for 30 years. And that little tidbit of information ain't going to stop me. It ain't going to stick? Yeah. I mean, normally I wrap some plastic over it, but I put that, mm. I wrap it in the... Even so, even if you do that. It doesn't matter. I cut that top if you, bit off. If you want to suck out the, all the bad air in your fridge, just leave an onion like you're doing there. Perfect! Sweet as, <laughs> mate. Sweet as. <clears throat> Extra flavour indeed. Extra flavour? Of course it is. <clears throat> yeah, nothing wrong with that extra flavour. And thanks Ben Stoons as well for that other uh, super chat that you gave. Uh, if you're going hard, <laughs> <coughs> that's priceless. What? No, oh, because he shouts me beers and um, rides, no, I, I, I rides said, on merry-go-rounds and. No, I said to Brian. I said, look, because um, we we're supposed to be going to this thing on Sunday, you know, for the last thing. And I said, oh look, I'll buy you. I'll buy you lunch. Yeah, you know, for, yeah. for coming on, He's, and you said, "No, no, I don't want lunch. Just pay you, me in beer. Just pay me in beer." So I was like, "Oh, righty, <laughs> that's easy enough." Yep. So I've already, but he, you brought one around today, and I gave you two, which you weren't really that flash on. Yeah, no, it's, it's it's all good. Like it's an experience, as always. But uh, yeah, I was going to shout. Brian some um, some lunch, but we're we're not too sure about this Sunday thing now. Yeah, I got, I got a special stop, um, like a uh, lobster restaurant along the way. I'm pretty keen to stop at. They also special on, uh, do specials on abalone. Mm. <laughs> Are you ready for that one? Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm. Well, if I get the receipt, maybe I can write it off. Mm. If I video it, then I can just write it off on text. Oh, no, I don't like to be videoed eating. No, no, no. Oh, you. Oh, gosh. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get two different things and I'll, I'll just have to taste yours and I'll just write the whole meal off. Yes. Yeah, that'd be good. <laughs> KFC secret menu item. I've already done two of them. Two of them in three weeks. There's only one more to go. Don't know if I'll get to that one. This uh, this Guinness is pretty good. I've already <coughs> smashed yours. Well, I coughed it. Yeah, coughed it. Must like be thirsty. It. Might be soft to something in the fridge. Um, you know sure. Unless yeah, you well, unless you need to go. I always got to go to the toilet, but uh, it's, I'll, I'll get going shortly. But one more for the road, hey? One more for the road. Or one more for the path across the the way. That's a bit. We can get up to like fifty likes. You think? No, fifty likes and one more. But there's certain ones, there's certain beers that you can't drink in there. They're, they're, the chili beers? <laughs> no, you can drink those chili beers. Oh, oh. oh those are things you... Oh, hold on. Oh, oh. oh. Going on here. Ah. 
<laughs> oh, Brian, he's probably one of his hordes of women you, calling. He's got thousands of them. He's always, always doing that. Oh, there's someone around. Just a minute, just a minute. I'll come get you. Oh, you got to go? Oh, no, I'll be back in a moment, right? I'm amazed. Oh, he's not coming around here, though. Oh, cool. Then, um, I'll go. Well, it depends who it is. Uh, Matt Rogers. You haven't known him. Oh, no. Well, it's probably best that we don't introduce him straight off the bat. Indeed. Uh, your scarf? What about your keys and everything? Uh, uh, goodbye, everyone. Everyone's uh, got to go. Life goes on. Mm. Thanks for the uh, fun times, guys, and Greg, and catch you soon. Yeah. Come over later. Oh, okay. Yeah, meet, meet Matt. Oh, I'll come and meet Matt. Yeah. Vet him, so to speak. About him. I'm sure he doesn't want to be thrown on a live feed of videos like the first thing. Oh, come in, Matt. Stand in here in front of uh, Greg's camera and uh, and just <laughs> beam out to 65 people. <laughs> One more for the road, neck and the bourbon. bourbon. So excited. Um. <laughs> my chicken and my kitchen's on the second floor. Well, it could be on the second floor. It could be on the third. Ciao, Brian. No worries, Conker. I'll shout him. I'll shout him a beer. Now that the pubs are back open, although I think it's only table service, you can't actually, like, stand at the bar and drink. Well, not in Queensland. I know in, uh, in New, New South Wales we could. But thanks, Conker. I'll write that down so I remind myself. Shout Brian drink. Shout Brian drink. You know the way to Brian's heart? Is this stuff here, mate. I'm actually looking forward to him going back to work because <laughs> he's a very bad influence on me. <laughs> Go the hogs. <laughs> Eating what? What's that chick? No worries, Conker. This is alright, this Guinness, so. though. Yeah, we've got to sit down at tables now, but it's like uh, when I took, when we went next door with Scott the other, last week, uh, you couldn't go to the bar and order, you had to get like table service. I was like, I don't, I don't want to, I want to go to the bar and order, so we didn't actually drink anything during dinner. <laughs> the annoying girl some complaining about Brian, um, which one? Mate, there's dozens of them. Mate, he's been carving it up on Tinder, the old Brian. <laughs> carving it up. Don't know how he does it. But people, uh, people love it. Beef and Guinness. Mm, gee, that sounds all right. I wouldn't mind a piece of steak, actually. I think I've got some frozen ones in the fridge. Hi, James. You take your own chair to the pub. <laughs> well, probably cleaner than the ones there too, Rob. I tell you, some of those are filthy. Yeah, of course they let Scott into a pub. He's like a magnet for... Like when he's walking past a pub, the pub like sucks him in to the pub because they want him in there. Fifteen hundred chickens die every second for food. Gee, yeah, that's a lot. Don't mind some chicken. Actually, I wish I had some chicken now. Ooh, now you're talking about it. Uh, have I tried bowl ticker eight percent? I don't think I have. You're necking some cougar bourbon. 
No, nah, Brian's not married. He's never married. He does have a, a son, though. <laughs> I love chicken. No, I don't really eat a lot of chicken, though. I mean, if it's KFC, mate, I'd eat that. I was getting those... Those ten dollar no those I think it was ten dollars for ten pieces. Mate. I'd have I'd like nuke two a day and eat it with something. So I'd have it for five days and just my and just heat it back up. I love that stuff. Um where do I get the stone dine frying pan? You mean this this one? This one that I use in my videos. It's got the wooden handle. Uh, Kmart. It's got like, um, there was a thing about this frying pan, though it was a Kmart frying pan, $17. And there were people doing reviews on frying pans. And this one is, was right up there with the $200 ones. So 17 bucks from Kmart. It's got the wooden handle. It's like a four layered, it's a four layered frying pan and it's got the, the hexagon pattern on the bottom there. So, mate, it's been really good. Yeah, 17 bucks, you can't go wrong. It's an absolute cracker. Like it's sturdy, it's not wobbly. I did have it on the barbecue doing something once and I burnt the handle a bit, but mate, it's been absolute beauty. and. I mean, if you can get a year or two out of that, 17 bucks. Chuck it away and get another one. Oh, thanks to Depeche Mode. We love Depeche Mode too. Cook some bacon. I do have some there. I was going to add a tin of tuna in there for some protein. <laughs> ah, Ben. Stone screen ginger wine. Yeah, I don't mind that actually. That's pretty good, that stuff. We used to drink it quite a bit. I think we used to mix it with lemonade or something. <laughs> oh, Robbo. <laughs> you went to KFC for lunch. Ooh, yummo. Mm, I was so tempted the other day. I was walking past. I went for this walk and I walked past the KFC. As soon as I'm walking past there, I'm on my phone, just seeing if there's like a special on, you know, like a, a two dollar chips or something. And I was like, oh, let's let's see if there's something on there. There wasn't. And I thought, no, Greg, I don't need those carbs. Uh, I punished myself pretty bad actually because I just eat so much junk, and um, that's why I eat lots of salads, lots of salads, lots of exercise. Uh, the vitamin, vitamin B beers. Yeah, they are awesome, Conker. Have I tried rye whiskey, bullet? Nah. Thanks, John. A review on my phone. It's a, a Samsung S20 Plus. And, well, it's been really good. It's, I'm using it right now. <laughs> it's been so good. Instead of having to set up your other cameras and you're sort of limited and you can, you've got to stick it on your computer and then you've got to wander around with that thing. Um, this phone's been... I'm still getting used to it. It's, and it takes really good photos. And the videos have been pretty good that it produces as well. This is from the front camera, this one. But, man, it's been a really good, really good phone, this one. So it was a good investment. It's something I needed because I can use it, you know, in uh, you know, in restaurants or something. To do a bit more. Instead of carrying my big camera around. I don't even have it here. But uh, uh, instead of carrying that thing around, I can just use my phone. It doesn't look like... You know, as dodgy. <laughs> I actually haven't been down to the uh, lake for a while, so I haven't seen any. I did see two stingrays the other day, last time I was there. 
Uh, what do I add in my videos? I just use, uh, I've got an Apple, one of those big computer ones. Uh, so it's got iMovie, so I just use iMovie, it's so easy. Well, I'm thinking my next computer, I don't want to go Apple anymore, I'm just sick of them. So I want to get something else, and but then I'll have to buy a uh, an editing thing. And I think they're like 500 bucks, so I'll have to get a decent computer with heaps of RAM and just that editing. Because all I do is edit and um, surf, you know. <laughs> Emails and emails, that's what I do. I should do a review nine ninety five for eighteen nuggets and two fries. I don't want to eat that. Everyone knows what it everyone knows what that tastes like, doesn't it don't they, Delilah? I don't want to eat McDonald's nuggets. Ugh. I'd rather get the ten dollar box uh, thing of popcorn chicken from KFC. Yes. Love that. Yeah, I need to get a my next my next uh, will be a PC. I'll get a PC. Yeah, for sure. So sick of Apple and they're just re ridiculous. What they're doing. That's why I didn't get a an Apple phone because uh, I had an Apple phone right, and the button the side button was broken. So I took it in. Oh, that's going to cost uh, three hundred dollars to fix. I was like, "F off, you effing dumbasses!" So I just went straight and got a, a new uh, Samsung. It was an old model, but it was still new, and that cost me three hundred bucks. <laughs> so I thought, right, I'm never getting an Apple phone ever again. And now uh, that was maybe five years ago, and then I just upgraded to this one. So, uh, yeah, I wouldn't be getting Apple. I'll never, I, I just don't want to get Apple ever again because they're a bunch of dumb asses. Yeah, I mean, this phone's been pretty good. Yep. That's a very, very good investment, this phone. Very good. Because I can do all these live videos now. I can wander around the house and I do twists and turns and go over here and... Go over here and oh, look at my liquor cabinet. Oh no! Oh, here's the uh, that much, that's how much 1800s left. So, there's enough for uh, two shots, probably. I'll say that. I'll say that for a special occasion. Oh, thanks, Steve. Music, have a beer for you. Do you want me to have a beer for you now? Better put these back. Or else they'll be so... I've just been looking at this. I can't wait. Has anyone ever had this one before? I'm, I just find with the uh, Jack Daniels, like the next day, you can still really taste the Jack Daniels in your mouth. And and when you, like, you'll do a shit and you, all you can do is smell Jack Daniels. <laughs> How much for a Guinness six pack? I don't know, probably, I don't know, 20 bucks or something. Oh, why is that face fuzzy? Let's see if I can clean that up a bit. All right, let's choose a beer for Steve's music. Now, there's a few that I'd, I'd like to, well, I mean, I've got, well, I've got a mountain goat. Yeah, I've got a kingfisher. We've got the Hollandia here and a Crown Lager. Ooh, Crowny. Mm -mm. I got my salad. Oh, I bought this one because somebody asked me to do a review on it. So I've got some two E's. Uh, what else have I got? I've got a, this can of Coke that's been sitting there for I don't know how long. It'll be flat though. I've got my Tasmanian butter. Uh, I've got that Hops Thief. Jeez. The crowny, you reckon? Uh, that's the uh, those other ones that I've got. I still got the Judas and Martha beer back there. What's this one? Oh, the Four Pines. That's uh, that's from old mates. And then I got these <laughs> ones down here. My broken drawer. Right. Uh, oh, so many to choose from. 
The Canadian Molson's actually, I should have gotten rid of those ones. They're absolute rubbish, those things. So, what? Oh! We've got a Miller's too, just quietly, just back there. Oh, I don't know, what do you reckon? What do you reckon, guys? Just go to Crowny. Yeah, I, don't, I haven't had a crown in years either. The single man's fridge. I mean, it's got salad. I got like yogurt and my cheese and your bino bifidus and my mustards and I've got eggs. Cage free this time. I got people yelling at me last time. Why do you buy those ones that are caged? Mm -mm -mm. I could make some whiskey sours, except I don't have any whiskey. All right, so what do we got here? That's a single man's fridge. Uh, Southern Cup. No, GPP. The Hop Thief. I had one the other day. No, I can't have the two is old. Another Guinness? No, there's none there. Uh, stack $61 for 24, 4, 4, 4, 4, 40 <laughs> The Hogs 3? Which one? The Hogs 3? What? I can't see any Hogs 3. It's all sauces. And... Oh, what's up here? Ah, this is my single slice of cheese. Right. It's probably been there for about six months. Uh, what have I got down here? Ah. Oh, what about down here? Oh, I've got a... Oh, a few of these hot lands. Oh, God. They are disgusting, those things. Uh, yeah, most of these, uh, well, they're all for reviews. Actually, uh, I'll get this one. I'll try this one. The old Rebel Brewing Car. I had one of these the other time, and it was really nice. I'll have to drink it out of the... Oh, no, I could probably... Where's my glass anyway? That's Brian's one. What happened to mine? Uh, oh, here it is. Yes. Okay. I just got to scull this now and have a beer for Steve. Here's my setup. Just a phone on a camera, on a tripod. Pretty easy, huh? So much easier than the old days. Oh, shit. Oh, no. This tripod's a bit really old and dodgy and broken. So I've had to fashion, ah, fashion something up to get it working. A glass of water. Now that oh, you know what I could, I should have, and could have had. Uh, the um, no, I said I'd have a beer. I'll have one more beer. Four X skull. Well, I've got to go and get some four X skulls uh, because of um, Robbo. Um, he bought me some four X skulls. He also wants me to get some Carlton zeros. <laughs> Oh, 50 likes. Oh, sweet. Ah, not bad. I prefer the uh, Kilkenny or something, though. That one, the Tetleys, that was nice. That's pretty nice. Maybe a full strength. If Tetleys came in a nice full strength, that'd be good. So I'll have this one. The Revel. We're the Revels, yeah. Very nice.
what percent this one? Pale Ale. I think I've done this. I had this with Scott the, a few days ago. Uh, last week or something. Yeah, so I got some Canadian blueies. <laughs> uh, that's the best thing about having really shitty beers in the fridge. Just like, oh, I don't want to even drink them. So you don't. Oh, g'day, Johnny. Southern Comfort. Yeah. What beer was what? 100 likes. Um... Stella Artois, yeah, I'm getting around to it. <laughs> I'm getting around to it all. Uh, the ginger beer that I had, uh, I think that was a ginger alcoholic one. I still haven't drunk it. Looks like orange juice. Oh, excuse me. Uh, yeah, I don't like that sort of smell. Yeah, it tastes very citrusy. Tastes like orange juice. Some emu export. I wonder if... I don't know if anyone here sends... I, don't know, I haven't seen any emu export around. I'll have to have a look at some of that. Uh, yeah, I do have a P.O. box. It's on my... Um, I can tell it to you. Uh, I'll, I'll link it in somewhere. I do have one. It, it's on my main Greg's Kitchen page. Uh, if you go into About, I think. It's probably got my... Um, and it's still relevant until... I think I've just paid it for another 12 months, so... It's relevant for another 12 months. I'm getting some stuff. People just like sending me things. I hope I'm getting uh, some knives soon, which will be nice. I got my bacon cooker sent there. <laughs> Can't wait for that review to come up. Woohoo! Oh, Swan Lager, yeah. So an Emu Escort and a Swan Lager. Uh, I don't think I've had any of those beers before. Uh, limousine, yes, yeah, so a Cooper Sparkling. Everyone keeps saying, Greg, do the Cooper Sparkling, the Cooper Sparkling. <laughs> do the Cooper Sparkling. And I see it there and I'm like, ooh, I do like a Cooper Sparkling, but I've got all these other ones that I need to get through first. I'll write it down so I don't forget. Sorry, <laughs> so <laughs> gotta write things down, you know. Right, where's Brian? He's gone. Uh, PO Box five eight two zero Q Super Center. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> that's my PO Box. Greg's Kitchen or Greg Hadley, whatever. It all gets to me. Little creatures. The Byron Bay Premium. I think I've already done a video on that one. Am I still doing Dry July? Yep. Yep, I'm doing Dry July. In fact, I'm... I'm helping out the people doing it by giving their taste buds a rest uh, by telling them what it tastes like. See, the thing was, right, I've done a few experiments in my life, and one of them was giving up coffee. I thought, right, I'm going to give up coffee uh, for a month and see, see how it affects me. About two weeks in, I had the worst headache, and that headache did not go until I, for the next two weeks, and then as soon as I had that first cup of coffee, the headache disappeared. <laughs> so I was like, I'm never going without coffee again. I just love it too much. You know, every morning I just have the coffee. 
Although lately I've just been, I bought this one, the Intensa, and it's just so strong. It's just way too strong. Uh, so, but I do like that one, the Labatza, but I, I prefer the other one that's not as strong. But, um, so I've got the, my other next go-to one is like the Coles Home Brand. <laughs> I do like those other ones though, like the, I forget what they're called. Uh, after trying this one, after this one, this is so weak. But it just means you put more spoons worth in. But I like my freeze freeze dried ones. Aldi beans. I don't have a, a machine that does that sort of stuff. <laughs> if you send me some pipe tobacco, will I smoke it on camera? Oh, maybe. I don't have a... Oh, do I have a pipe? I wouldn't be sending that because I don't even know if I've got a... I'll have to make like a can bong or something. <laughs> What's those ones where you... You put the... You crush that down, you poke the holes in there. <laughs> this will be going actually. I don't know. I, I'm sure I've got a pipe somewhere. It'd take me a long time to find it. That's right. What could I do in July if I was a dry July? I could be doing like um, ginger beers or something or cordial. Homemade mac and cheese. Oh, yeah, I'll get there one day. Crocodile tail. Wait, there's so many things. I know over the road uh, there's a butcher that's got the crocodile meat and uh, I just don't know if I want to cook that. I wouldn't know how to cook it anyway. I'd just be guessing. I'd probably ruin it. I bought this really nice steak uh, to cook, <laughs> to make a video, uh, just showing this really nice Maltique steak. It was like fully had all these ribs and it was just like all these lines going through. It looked amazing. I absolutely stuffed it up. <laughs> so I had, it was so cooked on the outside that the inside was just raw as anything. I was like, ah. So I stuffed that video up. <laughs> okay. And then another video, somebody emailed me saying, oh, great guy, uh, you got to try the Caltex pie. And like you sent that email maybe a month ago and it was just that day I actually went and, eight uh, Caltex pie, uh, the tradie pie and made a video. I must have deleted it accidentally because it's nowhere in my, on my computer or uploaded or anywhere. Oh, God, I hate it when I do that. I do it more often than not. I also made some other videos where I went to Leonard's and got some chicken things and I was doing a review and, oh, and then I, I don't know what happened, but I must have just deleted the video without uploading it. So stupid. I must have made 15 videos that I've just accidentally deleted. <laughs> oh, coffee with American honey tastes like Jaffa's. Ooh, an apple pipe. Oh, yeah. <sighs> uh, Colonial Billy, is that what they call him? A chicken, so it's like a soft chicken. What's in the white box upper right? Is that right for you? This, that box there. Is that the box you're talking about? No, that's Japanese ramen. They sent me a box to do a review on. And uh, yeah. I kept the box, I think it's got junk in it. It's got excess glasses and excess plates and things. So I should just take it down to the uh, church and give it to them so they can sell it. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> 4 
40 ounces steel reserve. No, no, I haven't done that. Guinness, yeah, I just said we just drank the Guinness. You have to go back and hit rewind and watch this. My favorite coffee, oh, I like the Merlot. Uh, the high, uh, you see, I really, I really struggle with um, like the this, I like the freeze dried coffee. Uh, but I always struggle with finding a really good one. There was one, I think it was, I forget what it's called now, but it never goes on special, or hardly ever, and they only sell it at Woolies too. Um, the Macona's all right, but it's, they've got so many different levels, and it's like, well, which one do I want? Do I want the two, the three, the four? Do I want to go the seven? It's like, I don't know. I just wish that I lived back in communist Russia where they only had one of everything, and you wouldn't have to choose or... You wouldn't have to, you had no choice. It's just, this is the only one you can get. Good. Boom. Are you atheist? Uh, well. well, I grew up in a non-religious household. But I don't class myself as an atheist. Um... Well, no, I've been to church a few times recently and you know, just the, all that talking about God is, is kind of nice. Yeah. Makes you feel good inside. But yeah, I don't associate, I don't associate with atheists. No, because it's, uh, it's turned into like a, its own religion now, atheism. So it's like, no, no, no I'll just stick to, um, well, my God is amber in colour. And it tastes good. But I do like, uh, like there's a local church that I donate lots of stuff to. Like just junk, no junk. All my junk, all the crap, just take it to the local church. They got a great op shop. Oh, it's the best op shop. There's quite a few op shops around actually, because we've been going, because we were supposed to have this a concert on on Sunday, but I think it got raided by the police, so we're not too sure uh, if it's on anymore. <laughs> but we do have a few more. Uh, we got another one the week after, then we've got one on a, a Thursday, a Friday night, and then another one on a Saturday night. And um, uh, we're doing a live set in the valley. Oh, another one in the valley as well in Brisbane. Uh, I think it's closed but it's a live video thing seriously white box on my left this is my left that's my left there's no white box there's a, a cupboard if that's what you're talking about that corner there this that bit there you only ever hit your head on that once. Trust me. <laughs> done it. Although I have done it twice. I'm a dilf, am I? Ooh, very nice. It's a cupboard. <laughs> it's a stupid design. I mean, look at it. It goes up to the roof. I don't know what they were thinking. So most people just cut it like a, at the top, right across, and then it's got lights under it. It's got some lights under there. So, uh, so I just have to trim it off. I could probably do it myself, but I, I just need to cut it down and lift that up. Eventually, when I do a reno on the kitchen at some stage, I'll get it all done. Get rid of that thing. Maybe have a few hanging lights down there. Uh, new kitchen, new floor, uh, maybe some new tiles, new, especially a new stove. Can't wait to get rid of this old stove. I'd, actually, I should be buying a new one before the end of the, um, the tax season so I can write it off. Be grazing my No, that's a surfing accident, that one. <laughs> Where's my wife? I'm not married. A 
serving nook. Grow my hair. Oh, I used to have hair down here. I used to have really long hair for years and years. I got it cut short and I grew it long again. It was beautiful. I used to have like women coming up to me all the time. If I was, I was like in my mid twenties and I was ripped. I was going to the gym. I was so fit. And I had this beautiful long hair. It was blonde. It'd go bleach in the sun. And I used to have women coming up all the time asking if they could touch my hair. Excuse me, can I touch your hair? I said, sure. And they'd just be like stroking it going, oh my God, it's just so beautiful. And it was, it was really nice hair. Um, yeah, I mean, I could grow it long, but it's too much of a pain in the ass. I've been there, done that. Uh, shaved the beard off. Yeah, yeah. When I well, when I get down to my weight, I've already clipped it back. It was looking too long now. It does. It's amazing, you know. When you when you don't cut uh, your beard, it just keeps growing. <laughs> it's amazing. It always happens. The old photo album. I wonder where I've got. Actually, let's see. Let's see if I got a. <laughs> no. I think I was sick. This was like a kindy or something. I, I think I was sick then. But look at that haircut. Oh, yeah. The good old bowl hair. Let's see if I've got um... oh. Does that look like me? Does that still look like me, you reckon? <laughs> I was like a ginger. Almost, I don't know. Yeah, let's see if there's some, um, oh, the Carnarvons, oh, Fraser, Harvey Bay, my ninth birthday. There's my, uh, I used to have all those dolls, you know, those action man dolls. That's my brother and my two sisters. But I wonder if there's any with me with long hair. Oh, all these photos have fallen out. On a trip to Tasmania. <laughs> What's this one? Oh, high school. Oh, God. Where am I? Oh. <laughs> it was pretty cute. I don't know what happened to me. I mean, I look... Uh, I think that, that's me, that, that one there. All the other guys. <laughs> oh, it's good guys. Oh, look at this one. When you see something classic, take a look at this. Oh, shit. Look at me with black hair. I just have my long black hair. <laughs> ah, it was trendy at the time. Um, oh my God. Ugh. Dressing up as women. Uh, no blackface ones though. Uh, my uh, second, my second car, I had an Alpha. <laughs> oh, there's that other car I had. Where's my long hair? Oh, look at this one. Yeah, this handsome looking dashing fellow. <laughs> that was my ice, ice baby. my dad. Oh, I haven't got any with my surfy hair. I 
think the closest one is this one here with the, one of my old flatmates. That's about as as surfy as I the only long hair video uh, thing that I've got. Oh, my brother and his ex. Oh, my 21st Hawaiian shirts. <laughs> I was a chick magnet back then, I tell you. Woo! When I was beating them away with sticks, boom, boom. And so I had to carry like a baseball bat around and beat the the birds off with sticks. It was... Ah. The women loved me back then. <laughs> mm. ah. Vanilla ice. So I saw him on a show just recently. He came in to do something. He also had a like a house renovation TV show as well. Uh, so young, normal looking. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty normal. That, that was back in the uh, 80s and 90s. Oh, your mate Dem's in hospital. G'day, Dem. I'm having a beer on your behalf. Ah, what's this one? The Revel. The Revel Pale Ale. It's pretty good. The Yellow Colonial IPA. Well, I just had one of those. It was pretty good. It was better warm. It was a beer that once you let it get a little bit warmer, you could really taste the flavors on it a lot better. I'm still here, Ryan. I've only had um, one, two. Uh, this is, I've had two and three. So I've had three in two hours. That's it. So Brian and I shared one of those. And then we shared one of those, except the other way around. And then we shared one of these. And then I cracked open a Rebel Bronco. So I've only had shared three beers. So one and a half plus another half, two. So I've only had two beers. <laughs> I'm gonna go after this one too. Brian said, come around to his place. Uh, I'm watching, what am I watching again on Netflix right now, everyone? What's that thing? Ozarks, I'm watching that at the moment. No worries, Katie. Ratings on the beer. Uh, we gave... Um, I gave that like a 2.25. Brian gave it like a 3.25. Oh, no. No, it was that one. Yeah, I gave it like a 2. Point. It was just really sour. It tastes like um, straight lemon juice, pretty much. Uh, I think I gave that a three, a three, and Brian gave it something. Now, we didn't actually rate that one. And I've had one of these Rebels before. I got a six pack, so, um, a four pack. And I think I gave it a, a three or something. Uh, the band's called Brian Sai. So B R I and. SI and um, they've got a YouTube channel which I keep telling him to hurry up and put songs on but uh, they've got a few on there I've got one of my I've got one of the songs on my Greg tunes Greg's tunes I've got one of them 
Uh, but we've got, uh, we did a, we went and did some uh, rehearsals yesterday we, and we did, because we've got a, a set, we're supposed to, have to do a two hour set coming up and we've got, we've got 18 songs, but we've got more, we've probably got 25 songs, but um, we've got 18 that are sort of done. <laughs> So you need to check out Brian Sai. No, homo. Homemade meat pies. Have I done a video on homemade meat pies? That's a problem when people say, oh, why don't you do this? Well, I've done it. Live from Brian. Well, I can go and ask him. Kicking on. Well, I'll see if uh, he's got a mate over there. I said I'd go over there. So, my tool fan, yeah, yeah, why not? <laughs> Metallica covers, well, I only know that one. <laughs> but I'm going to go after this two hours, jeez. Mate, it just tastes like fizzy orange juice, this stuff. Oh, with a bit of Barocca in there, or some vitamin C. I wouldn't even know a Tool song if so. If somebody played it, I wouldn't even know if it was from who it was from. <laughs> somebody just just played a song. Oh yeah, I like this. Who are these? Who are these bands? Oh, that's Tool. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> you saw Brian scavenging for tobacco, mate. I was sitting in my car doing a review, and this this. Uh, homeless looking guy starts walking up to my car and, I, and I've got the camera there and everything I'm like ah oh, jeez and he starts walking right up and then right outside my door he just starts bending down and he's talking to himself I'm like oh what's he doing and then I see him stand up with like all his cigarette butts like oh, no none in that one and then when I hopped out later there was like 30 cigarette butts. Somebody must have dumped their ashtray or something <laughs> at the car park. And he was just going around getting all the ones that had uh, some tobacco left in them. <laughs> Poor bastard. I was like, ah, oh, I've got a packet of cigarettes here that, have, that somebody brought around. And, mate, I need to try and get rid of them. I, sh I should go down and see if I could find him. These ones. Vogue. I mean, they're only tiny things. But, uh, yeah. I've been sitting in my cupboard for ages. As have these ones. <laughs> I don't even smoke and i got cigarettes in my, pack, in my cupboard. <laughs> they would have gone off by now. Do they have an expiry date, these things? I don't know. Smokers die younger. So there we go, a couple of diaries. Anyone? Anyone for diaries? Anyone need some diaries? The Dunhills are good. They're but the, I think they're both mint. The mint flavoured ones. Or menthol. But yeah, I need to get rid of those somewhere. I'll, I'll find some homeless people. And I'll... I'll dish them out. <laughs> You'd be happy to take them off me. A lot of people would be. <laughs> I mean, that's probably about 60 bucks worth of cigarettes sitting right there. <laughs> They're F. SC free. I don't smoke. That's why they're sitting in my cupboard. They've been there for months and months and months. Well, thanks, CDD. I saw you gave a um, a little tip back there. Uh, where is the bush dwarf? Uh, oh, it was around uh, Kyogle. It was in northern New South Wales somewhere in the mountains, but the police went and raided it. So... <laughs> 
unless they can find another place for it, uh, it might be called off now, which is a shame. I followed you on Instagram, did I? Oh, geez, I'm nice. I don't, I hardly follow anyone. Uh, yeah, so we don't know if this, uh, this Sunday bush stuff is on or off. Mind you, it's been piss and rain today, so uh, I'm sure Northern New South Wales will be getting it too, so it'll be as muddy as anything. And we're all supposed to dress up like pirates too, so... Um, yeah, I don't know what's happening with that. Has Australia got talent in every state? Say, oh, I don't know, mate. I found our big brother was back on. I'm like, what? I go flick through uh, Facebook and, oh, I can't believe big brother this afternoon or tonight. And I'm like, what? They're still on. They're still showing that show. Who on earth would watch that? And then I, I think I went on to the main TV and I flicked it and I saw it there and I just saw all these like these Darrow looking like they look like protesters. That's what they look like. And I was like, oh God. I'm sure, you know, I'm sure they've, they've, they've got great personalities and everything. What was it like meeting Don May? Well, it's just like meeting any other person, really. I'm sort of not phased by, uh, you know, wealthy people or famous people. Or, uh, I was at a party on the weekend with a famous person and, you know, you just talk to them like normal. Um, yeah, I just, I don't even, I just don't even care, mate. I'm famous too. I get recognised in the street. I go walking down the street. Greg, ah! Shopping at Coles. Oh, g'day, Greg. I love your stuff. <laughs> so, you know, yeah. not talking myself up, but <laughs> uh, I get a lot of people coming up and saying hi, so it's always nice. Well, it sort of makes you feel good about yourself and that you're doing something that people enjoy and, and like watching. Reality TV, yeah, I don't even watch it. I flicked it on, I think I was, it was like on a Thursday or something. Well, somebody said the footy was on. So I was like, oh, I'll flick it over to Channel 9. But as I was scrolling through, I saw Big Brother. I was like, what? But yeah, I haven't, uh, I haven't been to paint the uh, live TV, whatever, what's it called? Normal TV, I haven't even watched that for ages except for when the footy's on or something uh, am i ever going to come to melbourne well yeah i'll get there i'll get there we'll get there we're supposed to they're trying to like with the band we're trying to get into melbourne and, and go down there and do like a a few gigs if we can do i do vocal lessons no i need to though <laughs> my voice is terrible <laughs> Uh, did Brian leave his uh, stubby holder? No, his lighter. No, nah, that's mine. It's for lighting my um, uh, candles. Yeah, candles. Yeah, I light the candles with that. Come to Melbourne. Yeah, lots of people are always saying, come to Melbourne. I'll get there one day. Will I post more? Yeah, we've got some film clips all ready to go, but some people don't want them up yet. They say, oh no, we need a release date. I'm like, just fucking put them up. Just fucking upload that shit and so everyone can start seeing it. Oh, it fucking drives me crazy. Uh, so yes, there are more videos coming, but uh, it's, if it was up to me, they'd already be up there. <laughs> Lighting my candles, mate. I've got um, some really nice candle holders. I actually made one. I've got this thing here. I got this from like um, one of those 
reject shops. And it's like a, a flower. How cool is that? It was like $5. Well, I've got two of these. I've got a pink one as well, but I just put some candles in there and then the light sort of shines through there. So it looks kind of nice. Nice and, you know, romantic. Uh, you and your things, friends think of me as a god. <laughs> well, you might as well have me as a god than, you know, some of those other prophets or, or self-proclaimed leaders. I'm just a guy with a, a camera that's got nothing else to do. <laughs> oh, except work. I mean, I, I've done all that work stuff. The footy's on Channel 7 now, is it? Steam duck. Is that that, uh, what's that duck place? Uh, that duck? I used, they used to have those videos on TV, the duck. It's like duck duck or something. I was going to get some and do a review on that. What food will I never eat? Um, strange animals. A monkey's brain while it's still alive, like some countries do. Um... Yeah, I just, uh, Chinese bullfrog. I've, I think I've, I've eaten frog before, had it a few times. I don't particularly like it because it's, it's full of uh, like bones, all these tiny little bones that get stuck in your teeth. It's like, yeah. The square root of 169, I've got no idea, mate. Uh, I bet interviewing Gordon Ramsay would be very hard. <laughs> I've seen some with him. Ah, oh, Sir Stroming, I've seen that. Uh, they sell that in tins, I think, don't they? I'm loving the new phone. I'm very I'm enjoying it a lot. It's just, I mean, I, I don't... All I do is play phone games on it, really. And... Um, and upload to my Instagram. <laughs> oh, thanks, Paul. Oh, do you know if you can still buy Forex Parallel? No. I, can't. I don't know if you could go to the website. Maybe Dan's has still got it, but they have. Um, they don't put it outside on the shelf. I used to love that stuff. I used to buy it all the time. Oh, I love that Forex Parallel. It was the mid-strength Parallel. It was, it was drinkable. It was really nice. G'day, Darren. Ah, uh, dip. Have I tried dip? Yeah, I tried dip before. I used to, I spent like six months in uh, Switzerland at a youth hostel. <laughs> and uh, the Americans used to come through all the time and they'd bring their dip. And I used to work with guys, Americans, that used dip. And one day I thought, oh, they said, oh, I have some dip. So I was like, yeah, right, yeah. So I put a little bit there and I was like, ah, oh, this isn't doing anything. So I put a little bit more, mate, about an hour later, I was just like head between my legs, just trying to dry reach. It was like, ugh, I, would gr I totally greened out. It was, I, get, I just felt so sick from um, tobacco poisoning it, I guess. But yeah, I've, uh, I've done the old dips. Yeah, I wouldn't do that again. I, I'd smoke a, a cigar, I'd try a cigar. Now, last time I went to America, I was in Miami and and I went to some like corner shop and they had like a pack of like five cigars for like $3. So I was like, oh, sweet. So I went and bought that and, uh, and for the next like few days I was, like walking around just puffing on these they are only like these skinnier sort of cigars but still i thought oh mate they're so cheap i couldn't i couldn't resist uh did i enjoy running my own business yeah yeah it was fun 
no landscaping. It was, except for in Queensland, it's so hot up here. Like it's so hot and summer is just a killer. And, uh, and in Brisbane, like the soil was all clay with rock in it. So trying to dig through that, oh mate. I wish I'd had it on the Gold Coast where everything's sand. It would have been so much easier on the old back. <laughs> Maltese rice. Oh, that sounds nice. I think I've been to Malta. I might have. <laughs> oh, big chief. What's with all the questions? Can I survive on, I could survive on 15K a year. Uh, probably 20K. Because I, I mean, if I had to pay my rent and all my bills, uh, rent and bills, that's about 1700 a month. And then there's food and stuff on top of that. No, oh, no, I'd probably need about 25,000. Yeah, 25 grand, I could live on that pretty easy. I, I do, I have. Is it home at night time in Queensland? What's that, Robert? Of course it's night time. What time is it now? Oh, 6.30, mate. It's nearly winter solstice. So the days are going to start getting longer. Oh, it's going to be great. Oh, chicken rice. Oh, I love that stuff. I've got some here. Hyannese chicken rice. Mm -mm -mm. Yama. Love this stuff. Radio Zane, see ya. Uh, was, is it hot at night time in Queensland? Oh, in summer it is, <laughs> sting or not. Like now it's about 13, uh, 13. It was 19 degrees minimum the other night. Uh, but at the moment it's like, I don't know, 12 or something, 12 or 13 at night time. So it's pretty good. Uh, an electric scooter, yeah, yeah. Um, I've been looking at the electric bikes and scooters, but I mean, the reason that I ride them in the first place is to, you know, lose weight and keep fit. So that's why I'm staying away from those electric toys because otherwise, you, know, you just I just put on weight because you know my diet. I got these. I got all that crap food I eat. Uh, so. Ten degrees where you live. Now uh, you're on fifteen k a year paying your rates. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm I'm a cheap person. To I'm not one that just splurges on just rubbish and crap. You know, I buy like things like this because I can make videos with them and make money with it. So that's why I have these toys. That's a good toy though. That's one of my favourites, that one. Uh, I've got the pressure cook up there. You know, they're just toys that I need for my uh, working. If you make 20k working online, you're living the dream. <laughs> Yeah, you can't live in Sydney on that. You're drinking the Iron Jacks. Is that the full strength ones? They're not bad. The mid strength ones are a little bit. Meh. Yeah, that's right. Hello, Polly. The Gold Coast is awesome for bike riding. It's all just flat. No, I sort of miss working in an office, you know, those Friday afternoon drinks and Christmas parties and, you know, friends and mates, workmates and, you know, going out with them like on a Saturday night or something. Oh, I used to really party hard with my old bank. I used to work in the bank and, mate, we used to party 
pretty hard, pretty often. <laughs> Yeah, I think you'll like it, Ben. Yeah, that's single. I did a how to cook a single slice of pizza in the um, air fryer video. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, Greg, maybe you should like teach us how to like pour a glass of water. Oh, Greg, maybe you can show us how to boil water in a kettle. <laughs> like people getting up me. I was like, well, did you know how to do that? And that you could do it. And that video has had 20,000 views already, so stick that one up your ass. <laughs> yeah, Sydney's too expensive. No, no, Brian's fine, mate. He's... Brian is the opposite of the depressed. <laughs> He's living the dream at the moment. He was really depressed before, but now he's like awesome. He's much better. Dim Sims, yeah, mate, you can do anything in the air fryer. It looks like he could snap at any time. Well, he's not. He's not like that at all. He's the most placid person. Even when you're like, there's there's certain people that come around that really just try and wind him up, and. Uh, Sometimes he just snaps at them, like, just shut up, will you? But that's it. Like, he's very, uh, very nice. Very nice and, like, he'd never raise a fist to you. Oh, Simon's a nice guy. Can't be depressed with me. No, I've, I've actually, he's he keeps saying that uh, since he met me, he's uh, really... Um, sort of awoken himself from what he was. So I've, I've sort of helped him, uh, just like me being a, a dickhead, you know, you know what I'm like. Um, but I've sort of helped him along with a, a whole lot of stuff and he, he's really appreciative of it. And like I could have ditched him so many times, but you know, I sort of stuck with him because I knew that, you know, inside there's, uh, you know, there's a decent person and, uh, he just needed someone to uh, bring him out of that shell. So I sort of stuck with it, you know, instead of like just flicking. You now some people you just flick straight away. But um, no, he's a, he's a good musician. He's a, he's a nice guy and he's a really good musician. And he's a great songwriter. Um, yeah, so... Oh, he's a decent, he's a decent person, Brian. He loves your keyboards. Uh, YouTube leftover KFC chicken rice. Mmm, yum. Uh, Brian's single with kids. Oh, thanks, vlogger. Oh, thanks, Robbo. Yeah, I've... I've been through the depression stages and if you see some old videos, you know, other things that I've been through and, um, yeah, I don't take any medications for anything now. So, I'm, um, I'm just got off everything. I just found that the medications really didn't work that much for me. I just needed to go out and do some more exercise or just get out of the situations that you're in that's making you depressed, you know? There's certain things, you know, jobs that you hate and you, or relationship you're in and you just don't want to be in them or you, the job sucks or something and you're just stuck there until you can get out of it. But, um, yeah, I just found that getting out of all these situations just really helped and just helped with me, my personal life, um, just with everything. So, I mean, I know a lot of people can't do that, but I've... I'm pretty fortunate where I've worked my life into a way where I can do whatever I want, whenever I want. So I'm pretty lucky. Uh, I've had one car crash. I've had it. I've been in a few, but um, I had one that was, I was driving around along. It was pissing rain. And there was uh, somebody decided to, they, they were turning into a KFC. So they put the brakes on and then the guy in front braked late. 
and I was doing probably 50 in the 60 zone. I was in an old HQ hold, and this is like when I'm 20. Slammed the brakes on, I've just aquaplaned, because it was pouring rain. I've just aquaplaned, it's like I picked up speed, I just smashed into the back of this car, the Commodore, pushed her into the car in front, which was a taxi. And I was like, oh no. And her car was like, <laughs> like the front and end were just really compacted. And I, I walked up to her, I hopped out of my car, I walked up to her car, her seat had broken and she's like lying backwards. <laughs> The seat's so fully backwards, reclined. I'm like, oh my God, are you okay? She goes, yeah, my seat broken. I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. But because um, I had the HQ Holden, those things are made of like solid titanium. And I actually drove away while her car was like to totally destroyed. But that was, uh, that was pretty lucky that I didn't hurt anyone in that one. Am I going to buy a house? I bought this place. Still paying. The bank owns most of it. <laughs> oh, you got on um, ABC Radio. Wow, Ben. It's pretty cool. You got on the Communist Radio Station. <laughs> no way, Jace. There's no way Bundy Red is on. Unless it's uh, the cans, the pre-mixed. Yeah, anxiety is terrible. I had that once. Yeah, you just stay away from social media. I always, I don't watch any news. I don't listen to news. If I'm driving along and the news comes on, I just turn it straight off. Then I'll wait a few minutes and I'll turn the radio back on because I don't want to hear it. Not interested. Would I buy a car with 500 kilowatts? Yeah, mate. Of course I would. I used to drive them all the time. I used to work in the car industry. I, I got to drive some awesome cars. Never drive a Rolls Royce, so I've been in one. I'd love to go in a Rolls Royce. That's my ultimate goal. Mate, I'd be straight down to Cabarita if I won the uh, lotto. Oh, Depot, that's no good. <laughs> well, I think of Aussie cars. Oh. <laughs> well, they're not around anymore, and that's for a very good reason. <laughs> uh, Brian's my neighbour, that's why I know him, and that's why he's around here, because he's, like, just next door, so... Fastest car I've driven, I've driven Porsches, I drove uh, one of those Supra, two twin turbo Supra things. I never really got up these cars though. <laughs> Peugeot, I wouldn't be getting the Peugeot. They got no resale, I'd be getting a uh, a uh, Toyota. My new glasses, they're coming very soon. Very soon. I think they've got this sort of frame, uh, but they're like different colours. Because the, the selection that you get, the free ones, they don't really have a, a great selection of glasses. Do I put my foot down the work car? What do you reckon? <laughs> <laughs> had a petrol card and everything. V8s, they were. Twin turbos. Oh, mate. Yeah, on the freeway, if you're going to overtake, or on test drives, you say, right, I'm just going to show you the power of this car. You just put your foot down. You just, <clears throat> just until it got up to, like, the 80 zone, and then you back off. No, no, I'm not on the sour beer. I'm on the, the rebel now. I'll finish the other ones. Brian's gone. I'm going to finish this off, actually, right after this skull. So 
Oh, Ben Stearns. Mate, how can you afford these ten dollar tips when you're living on fifteen grand a year, mate? <laughs> but thank you very much, Ben. Uh, uh, the Colonial Apple Cider, yeah, they do a cider. Yeah, I saw that one. I was like, ooh. But um, yeah, so yeah, you gotta help out the Colonial. They're copping heaps of junk now from those dim-witted dumb asses that are like, everything's racist, you know, those ones. Apparently, the name Colonial is now racist. So stick it up their asses and go and get some Colonial beers. Because the only people that find, I find the only thing people that find like things racist are racist. It's funny that. The most racist people are the ones that are always um, talking about it and saying that they're not. <laughs> well, it's about a time I got some money back from the government, Robbo. <laughs> uh, thanks a lot, Robbo. You don't have to, you know. But I appreciate it. Best seats in Volvo's. Yeah, I'm doing a few Volvo. I just find some of their cars, like the suspension is just too hard. And that's the thing I find with a lot of these like top cars, you know, like the things that you drive, like it's got the sports pack or the BMW. And it's like, you hit a bump and it's like, oh, it's like, God damn. I just want, I want the, like the, the bike. I, I want the car that like a, a Rolls Royce that just glides across, soaks up all the bumps. I hate these sports tuned cars because they're just so rough. Actually, I was in my friend's uh, Land Cruiser last week. That was nice. Uh, those bad, those brand new big Land Cruisers with the uh, diesel V8s. And that was nice and smooth, you know. That was good. Uh, what's for dinner? I've got a salad for dinner. Ever on a Saab? Uh, I'm not sure if I have. That's right. This is the virtual pub. That's what this is. Virtual pub. Anyway, I'm going to go now. It is uh, what time is it? Quarter to seven. I've got to get. I've got to whip over to Brian's place before dinner, and I'm busting for a piss too. So. A Jaffel's review. Well, just keep watching. Just keep watching. But uh, anyway, thanks to everyone for coming along today. And um, uh, tomorrow I was planning on doing another live view where, a live video, where I'm going to crack open the Chris's hogs. So we'll give this one a go tomorrow. See what it's like. Some good old bourbon. Yeah, can I wait? Oh yeah, yummo. Uh, no, Brian's going to be with his uh, date. So, but uh, it'll just be you, you and me, just sitting around. So we'll see you tomorrow. Unless I go to the pub and go there. Ah, uh, uh, they probably don't have Wi-Fi yet. So we'll see you tomorrow uh, night or afternoon or something. Um, so keep your eyes open. We'll see you then. But uh, thanks for all your tips and everything. Um, there was Limousine and Steve and Ben. There was uh, Robbo and... Yeah, and CDD is always there as well. Uh, thanks, Robbo. Thanks for your super chats too. And we'll see you all tomorrow. Until then. <laughs> all right, thanks to your uh, Shazza too. She sent me a uh, voucher for Coles. I'm going to go there tomorrow and use that one up. Uh, see you all later. Yeah, th 
I hope you enjoyed those photos too on my photo album. <laughs> See you guys.